This podcast features adults using adult language. You have been warned. Following their victory in the dusky bowels of the Underdark, our heroes from Acquisitions Incorporated, Omen Drawn, Jim Darkmagic, and Binwin Bronzebottom want nothing more than a return to normalcy. Unfortunately, with no work coming in, they find themselves between dungeons at the moment. But one night, over an augural repast, But none of that worked. Now our heroes have to come up with a new plan, and it's time for us to find out what it is. Welcome to Acquisitions Incorporated. dressed up for you. <laughs> I can undress for you if you like. <laughs> I'm Chris Perkins and I'm here to introduce the other players of Acquisitions Incorporated. Starting with Patrick Rothfuss. Scott Kurtz. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Jerry Holkins. Thank you. Thank you. How many of you out there have seen me DM before? Raise your hand. How many out there have seen me as a player before? Raise your hand. <laughs> All right. Well, you know what? I think I want to play tonight. Yeah, I think we're going to switch this up. I think I'm going to play, and one of you is going to run. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Well. Meanie, meanie, meanie. I've, no I've got something. I mean. You've got something? Yeah, I mean, I carry it with me <laughs> in case this <laughs> ever happens. You always have it with you. I always have right, it with you, me. You are a very brave I, man. I can take the seat? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Woo! More importantly, do you mind if I take your seat? Please do. Okay. 
You're gonna DM? Yeah, I'm gonna DM. Years of loyalty yeah. have paid off. <laughs> Remember all the times we were friends in no, games? No, no. I, I just happened to have brought a character. I don't <laughs> know you anymore. Oh. That was back when he was little people. I didn't get one of your spiky binders. You but can I have brought, mine. I, I don't really like it. <laughs> all right. Boy, this is... <laughs> this is really... This is a great view is from it crazy? here. Yeah, this is interesting. You look uh, great. Thank you. I feel yeah. good. I feel... It feels natural. <laughs> feels right. It's not just that you look great, it's that you smell great. Oh, thanks. Um, it's, I, I it's like you It's not going to help you. Handsome None man. of it's going to help you. He's a handsome man. Uh, guess what? Huh. Jim's turning 40. Ooh. Yeah. Is that what? so? And you the all, big four -oh? the big 4-0, and you all have been invited to his birthday party. You don't look a day over 20. You can stop with that. I'm going <laughs> to kill you. All right. <laughs> is, is there a, is there a D and d equivalent of a bouncy house? Like, if there is, Jim has it. Nice. Uh, so a magic envelope appears in each of your hands with a little purple seal that's got Jim's mark on it. You're a wizard, Harry. Sadly, no. Oh. Uh, you're not a wizard, is what it says. <laughs> and then it goes into an invitation. It says, you are cordially invited to attend a murder. I, Jim, will be hosting a murder mystery party at my home in Baldur's Gate. You are invited to attend this event and help solve the case of my untimely demise. We will start the evening with hors d'oeuvres and mingling, followed by a spectacular dinner prepared by my personal chef. <laughs> After dinner, you will find me dead, and it will be upon you to determine which of my guests is the murderer. I shall endeavor to play the best corpse I can, but you'll have to excuse the occasional chortle as you stumble through my clues. Magically yours, Jim. Now, Jim's house isn't actually in Baldur's Gate so much as it is accessible from Baldur's Gate. It's in a pocket dimension. And your invitations are actually what gives you entrance into his It's like home. a gate key? Yeah, it is. Oh. So you arrive in an alleyway with a dead end, but there's sort of a brick arch in the wall. And you notice that as you approach it, it begins to shimmer. Uh, the three of you are there with your invitations, and you notice that there's a fourth person there who's arrived at about the same time. And what does he look like? I, I sear him. I sear him with scorching light. <laughs> <laughs> From the heavens. You notice that he what? also has an invitation. I wait a moment. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. All right, well, you know me. I do? You do. You've met me. You. Do I have another sister? <laughs> <laughs> Is that, is that how this works? So, I owe you one. I am a dark elf. Oh, oh shit. Oh, great. How many scimitars do you have? <laughs> I have two scimitars. All right. <laughs> Are you allowed to play him? I, all right, that, no, we'll do it. And, but there's one thing I'm missing. Oh, uh, yeah, I... I got your text, um, <laughs> but I've been, I've been really busy. I got your raven text. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I don't, yeah, okay, yeah, here. No, it's, it's Are you sure? If you need it. Well, I mean, I, I wouldn't you say need, need. She can be a great help. But I, I, she's a great yeah. addition to the team. I'll give you the sheet. Oh. 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 Gwen was go. Go. Dang. <laughs> Sorry, I almost killed you that one time. <laughs> you didn't almost kill me. <laughs> well, I, I, I totally almost killed you. All Not right, even so close. The, no, Boys. the portal opens up. You well, guys that's okay. proceed I through. It. And no matter what time it is in Baldur's Gate, you always arrive at Jim's house. At on party o'clock. Beautiful sunny afternoon. It's sort of a mishmash of architectural styles from different periods of time and different eras. And it's a really beautiful home. In case you forget. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, turn it, turn it out, turn it out. <laughs> oh. So this is all canon, right? Oh, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, Bob's okay with this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at Jim's front door, you are greeted by uh, who you know to be his intern, um, Diz Iberon. He's a young kid, very excitable, wild hair, and he oh. looks... You guys have looks. personal interns now? Like this. What? Oh. This is Diz. Wow. You had that with you. Yeah, I always carry always this. Always carry it. Just in case. 
Oh Listen, my God. He loves Jim. He's very excited to see you guys. <laughs> How long is this young man for this world? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna this be around is, for a long this time. This is like when you see a dog in a game. No, no, no. <laughs> Diz is a champion. What he is says, this? this Chekhov's corpse? <laughs> I'm so happy you guys are here. Uh, uh, Jim's really excited about this. I'm really excited about this. You're the last ones to arrive. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and lead you in right now. There's going to be hors d'oeuvres, some mingling. You can meet the other guests. It's going to be fantastic. Come on in. <laughs> you guys, Up top, Diz. <laughs> he high fives you. Woo! Diz leads you into the study. Uh, I'm sorry, not necessarily, but like his foyer, right? And you yeah. can see that there's a couple other guests there. You've got an elderly woman. Like this. What? She looks like an owl. Is she is she dressed as an owl bear? Her name is Mrs. Owlbear. <laughs> uh, hold on, hold on. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, her name is Mrs. Owlbear. <laughs> You've got Kira. She's a, a high elf. She's dressed in black leather, blades all over her. And you've got sort of a strange, large fellow in the corner, uh, all covered in robes. Huge What's belly, uh, looks like kind of a jerk, but he's sort of by himself in the corner watching you as you enter. Uh, it's time for hors d'oeuvres. There's oh, oh okay, murderer! No, hold on, that's not. Okay, that's. J'accuse! Yeah, yeah. Hold on. that's not. That isn't a belly as I generally conceive of it. <laughs> that looks like he has spent the afternoon eating children. No, no, he's just. He's out of shape. Oh, he's just, he he's just to, out of shape. He needs, yeah, to, he he needs to get back yeah. on the treadmill. Uh, so there's silver she's plates of hors d'oeuvres floating shape. around the room. Yeah. Uh, ben, when you snatch a couple sausages. Of course. Uh, and yeah. it's, it's mingling time. You guys are free to approach any of these guests and, uh, and mingle. All right, I approach, <laughs> I approach this dude. All right. Johnny Evil. Uh, I walk <laughs> up and I'm like, so how long have you been evil? I'll, <laughs> <laughs> I'll move into a flanking position. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Uh, I've been evil my entire life. <laughs> it looks it. It comes naturally to me. How long have you been short? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that, really. Because as a, as a player, I have never been accused of being short. <laughs> I'll just uh, respond as if you asked me how I like being tall. Weather's fine down here. <laughs> Anybody else want to talk to some guests? Any questions you have for them? I ask him what his name is. My name is Pathos Gloomblight. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know Jim? Uh, Jim and I attended magic school together. Oh. Do you know Usador? He's a very famous mage. <laughs> he, do, he knows me. Oh. <laughs> All right, awesome. <clears throat> I'm going to go sidle up to, uh, is, it, is it Mrs. or Miss Albert? It is Ms. That's great news. <laughs> <laughs> I like them ancient and with feathers. <laughs> oh, it's that beak? No. I, uh, I, don't, that beak? I, don't, wow. I don't. I don't creep. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I, I sidle over. Hello, honey. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's, that's how I wanted this to start. <laughs> I say, I say uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I guess you'd say Jim's boss. You're Omen. Uh, yes, I've heard stories about you. Oh, what, what kind of stories? Like, how, please relate them to me in a word-for-word uh, -for -word, uh, detailed manner. <laughs> well, just how fortunate you are to have Jim around. Mm-hmm. Mm uh, how do you know, how do you know uh, James? My husband, well, my late husband, Ludwig, and I grew up next to James. He's sort of a godson. Grew up next to? Like, in, he grew up next to us. I, 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 I know that, I know that, um, Jim, I know they, they moved around a lot when they were young because their house is a flying magical ship. They did, and eventually it settled next to our home. <laughs> Ludwig would often take James on excursions for magical artifacts. He's a fine young boy. Now, Ms. Albert. <laughs> Do you have any funny stories about Jim? <laughs> <laughs> well, there was that one time Jim accidentally turned himself invisible for an entire year. <laughs> Are you sure it was an accident? Did you check your china and forks routinely? No, come to think of it, we lost a lot of things that year. 
I chalked it up to old age, but. No, no, I, I, that gym. I, I would say that the scenario you've described is thoroughly gym. <laughs> Can I get you anything from the trays? I would love a sausage, <laughs> a big, <laughs> thick one. <laughs> A long time. <laughs> <laughs> Since, you know what? What's funny is that she's actually taken it like too far too fast. <laughs> um, but I will, I will secure for her the largest sausage possible. Okay. Okay. Is this the next level of the of the escalation? Does it go cougar and then owlbear? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that's the that's the threshold. <laughs> Ooh, she's an owlbear. Oh, oh man. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> hooray! Yeah, Driz and uh, and Viari, what are you guys doing at this little shindig? That's hooray. Well, you know, <laughs> uh, I wasn't since the only one that we haven't really met so far is oh, uh, yes, Kira. Yeah, she's. Uh, I I'll kind of wander over and I'm like, hey, do so you want to want to get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later. I'm huh. I'm here for the party, and oh, I'm yeah, excited. Yeah, yeah. I'm excited to see Jim. It's been a long time. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm Viari. I, uh, I I work with Jim. Oh, very nice to meet you. I I knew Jim a while ago. We dated for a little bit. It didn't it didn't work out. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I. How uh, could it? <laughs> <laughs> That's too bad. That's yeah. too bad. He's he's a great guy. He is a great guy. He wanted more from the relationship than I was ready to give as a professional assassin. Oh. My time, you know, is very valuable, and I couldn't give as much to him as he wanted. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up, uh, up just as far as you need to so that that whole attack of opportunity thing is not I, an I issue. see you stepping away. It's, I'm, I am on business, not here. I, I have a job currently to kill one of the masked lords of Waterdeep. This oh. is just sort of a side thing. I, I happen to be in town. Oh, really? Yes, yes. Well, that's good work if you can get it. It is. I don't think it will be difficult. He's sort of a buffoon. Oh, I, I hear that about a lot of them, really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I know people in Waterdeep if you ever need any intel. Or... Oh, I know exactly where he is. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, I was going to go get a drink away, away a drink, mm -hmm. and uh, would you like me to pretend bring to bring one back to you? something fruity. Something fruity? Yes, please. I, I am that. <laughs> Got anything? Pathos is still sort of wondering why you're here. He's asking me why I'm here? Yeah, why are you still standing next to me, dwarf? <laughs> well, how can I put this gently? I don't trust you. You have, oh. you have the stank of evil on you. I understand. It's, it's because I'm a necromancer, isn't it? Yeah, might be. <laughs> you know, I, I run up against this all the time. Just because I'm a necromancer... Am I being anti-necrosemantic? ...does not mean that I am the evil murdering person that you think I am. Well, look, Jim is a friend, and my side job is always kind of to bounce. I bounce things. I'm a bouncer. Mm -hmm. And I, you look very bounceable. <laughs> and uh, you'll find me quite unbounceable, friend. Oh, okay. Well, there's no reason why we can't be cordial about it and friends about it. Certainly, I, I can think of many things to do with a dwarf skeleton. <clears throat> okay, this ends this, is, with, this ends with them fucking, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the arc. That's how this ends. I just do this and back away. <laughs> Like around a corner, like. Yeah. <laughs> I do one of those things where it's like the wall, and I just kind of go. All right. And as you leave, you know, it's 1473, all right? Necrobancers have their time now. Oh, that's the year? <laughs> I, I, thought he was, <laughs> I thought he was giving me my, his room number. <laughs> Maybe. It's 1473. I'm also... I'm another kind of necro. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can get a corpse up to 1473. Wow. Whoa. Oh my gosh. That got dark. It fast. did get dark. Yeah. You I'm sick. bring a corpse. <laughs> <laughs> As he walks away, I'll just circle the necromancer and not take my eyes off him for one moment. Okay. And I'm like six inches away from his face as I'm circling around <laughs> it. And then I'll say, you don't want to mess with a dwarf. 
I'm telling you right now. Don't do it. Listen, I don't want to mess with anyone here. This That's one. how I came off. I apologize. I'm just here for the party. He's an old school friend. I put my head around the corner. I go, listen to him. <laughs> he never loses a fight. Read his books. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, at this point, you hear Diz, uh, and he says, Glad everyone's getting along so well. I'm really excited, and uh, I'm going to go get Jamie's in his study. I'll be right back. Uh, Thanks, Jizz. <laughs> Diz. Diz. It's it. oh. Diz. It's Diz. Oh. It's Diz. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Do or Durden. <laughs> and at that point, uh, Diz takes his leave. Like, yeah. first, first 20 minutes playing in... Perkins called the kid Jizz. <laughs> that was during our show. Uh, you have a couple minutes here the with the guests. Yeah, you read the employee manual? <laughs> On sale at tabletitans.com soon. That's Jizz great is talk, gone, though. but if you'd yeah. like to talk to anybody else in the room, you have a couple minutes. Well, I want to go talk to the pretty girl. Kira. Yeah. So I saunter up to her, mm. and I'm like, I hear you like killing things. It's my job, but I like it. You know what they say, if you do what you love, you never work a day yeah, in your life. Yeah, it's never, it's not, if you love it, it's right, not work Right, it's not work, it's not work. <laughs> I kill a ton of shit all the time. I kill, I kill a ton of shit. In fact, I'm currently hired to kill someone. Who? Well, it's one of the masked lords of Waterdeep. I can't say who. Oh, I know a masked lord of Waterdeep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean, you mean your friend Omen? Yeah, you want to kill not, him? It's not Omen. Oh. Yeah, you would need to send an assassin to kill Omen. No, you would not. <laughs> you absolutely would not. No. He might. He, he might, doesn't rank. He might kill himself. At least not an assassin of my caliber. No. Jim has told me plenty about his incompetence. And I gotcha. There's no reason to send me after him. Well, if there's one thing I love killing the most, it's a six-pack. Would you like to... <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, nice. Have a drink with a dwarf? Are you in the Jim dwarves? Jim and I aren't together anymore, but I still feel a certain <coughs> loyalty to him concerning his friends. I don't want to do anything improper. But yeah, let's drink and okay, fuck. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's drink and fuck? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> done and done. No, no, no. At this point, you hear a high-pitched scream uh, from, from the other room. And, and Thank the gods. And, <laughs> and Diz calls for all of you to come to the study. Uh, is this, uh, does this sound like Jim's high-pitched No, it sounds like Diz. Oh, okay. And when you enter the study, it's Jim's office. Uh, it's beautifully decorated. He's got a, a large wooden desk in the back, bookshelves all along one side. Uh, there's a suit of armor, portraits of Jim, a uh, beautiful rug, and even a fish tank in one corner. Uh, but the thing you notice is that Jim is laying at his desk, face down, and Diz is standing next to him, and he says... Oh, guys, Jim's dead. I mean, I mean, he's really dead, like, like for real dead. And he, he lifts up Jim's hand and lets it drop. I point at Diz and say, murderer! <laughs> it's not me. I would never. I would never. Well, this was, we knew this was going to happen. We only have his word to go on. Well, you're the doctor. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to go check this out. I mean, I, I, I suspect that if Jim is really planning this party right, Maybe there is a, a mystical aspect mm -hmm. um, to this. I'm going to use my medicine to see if there's some kind of, uh, like, a, if, if it matches any kind of herbal or medicinal right. temporary yeah, yeah. coma type thing. Give me a, yeah, give me a, what, do you, what kind of check you want? Medicine there? Medicine, yeah. Let's, let's talk about, uh, I want to try to get you into a 23 today. Holy shit. Whoa. So you rolled a 16? Yeah. He's 100% really fucking He's dead. He's fucking actually <laughs> dead. He is absolutely dead. This is, this is real death. So, I, and I, I go over there, and like, as a showman, I appreciate another showman's work, and I'm like, this is high class. This is pro. Yeah, yeah. 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 This is pro level. This is what you we're know, all trying to get to. Anybody, anybody could throw the whole, you know, find out who killed me, but to actually... That's commitment. Yeah. That is commitment. That is solid. Yeah. So I, I look at Omen. <laughs> <laughs> is he really dead? Yeah. So, Omen, <laughs> you're standing next to Jim. You just did your check, and he is totally dead. Yeah. Uh, he's face down on his desk. 
um, you can see that there's papers, scrolls scattered around. One of his hands is kind of stretched out. Uh, there's sort of a, it looks like a little mechanical bird on his desk. Um, and Diz is just bawling. He's just crying and clutching at Jim's cape. Right? I, you know, I will take Diz away. I'll kind of be like, Emma, come on, come on over here. Come on, don't, okay. don't look at this. Yeah, he, look. he lets you bring him over. Look, fish tank, right? Hey, let's, is there fish in this fish tank? I love these fish. Jim loves these fish. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay, you know, we, we, we take care of this all the time. He dies Let's like, get all feed the, the time. Fish. Jim always well, has a fish. You, let's feed the fish right now, man. I mean, I guess yeah. I can feed the fish. It's yeah. not hard, but show there's me. other things that Jim did, too. Show, show me how to feed the fish, man. It's okay. He's going to show you. He's going to show okay. you where the food is kept. I'm going to quietly sneak up behind Jizz and keep my hands. <laughs> <laughs> really makes me... Little keep. professional respect. <laughs> That's all I'm looking for. <laughs> all right. We're halfway through feeding the fish, and he just falls apart into, like, <laughs> eight pieces. Sliced. Right. Yeah. So, uh, so Diz and VR are, are feeding the fish. Can I make an insight check to see maybe yeah. if he's laying it on a bit thick? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Hmm. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good with my swords. <laughs> That's How does it feel okay. to be The, the tears side? seem very genuine. <laughs> so if you roll the dice... And then you start looking through your character sheets. That's how you know you fucked up. <laughs> you're like, you, you is there have... a number on here somewhere that means I'm not an is asshole? Is there a plus anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> you guys have Jim's study. I forgot he has advantage on everything. That's right. Oh. What? I'll no. do that. You guys have one. Jim's study here. You are next to the corpse. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, you guys are at the fish tank. Uh, I am. I'm running perception. This and basically it's going to be CSI Baldur's Gate. Right. I'm going to. I'm going to run perception on this. Desk, the bird. I mean, maybe okay. it's, maybe it's some kind of recording type bird. Maybe gonna, it was the fish. Yeah, it could be the fish. We'll ask the fish. You guys interview the fish. I'm going to fall, kind of on top of Jim and sob. Okay. And then frisk him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, search the body. So as as Ben was searching and I am. Ben was to... pulling doves out of Jim and just sort of letting them go. Uh, and just like throwing them off to the side. Yeah. Are these living doves? They're yeah. real no, death. No, could living could doves. all the doves be dead too? <laughs> <laughs> Are you pulls... Oh no. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, you want to make me yeah. a canna awesome. check? Perception? Or... It's sad. It's you can make me a perception check, sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it depends on what you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, just, I'm trying to see if there's anything, anything I can use, spills, drops. Sure, sure. Give me perception um, or investigation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So as far as... Yeah, let's do perception. Because I can actually do that. Ooh, I'll take it. That's twenty-two. Twenty-two. Uh, and yeah. He drips and drops. You, there's no blood. Yeah. And you notice that Jim's hand, uh, his left hand is, uh, her, his right hand is tucked under his body, and his left hand that's sort of going motioning towards the bird has his pointer finger out. Yeah. Oh. oh. So he's pointing at the bird. That's what it looks like. The bird. Yeah. Gentleman, the bird yeah. is definitely the key. Right. I have to get this bird before any of these other people gets the bird. The I will the distract word. the yeah. other people. Hey, I'm sad. At this point, uh, yeah. Pathos Gloomblight says... This fucker. <laughs> says, this is classic dark magic. I'm sure that it's one of his ridiculous spells. We should all just go back out and prepare for dinner. No, he's actually... I mean, he's dead, and you know that, because that's your thing, so... Yeah, that's a good idea. Everyone get out of here. We have to preserve the crime scene. We're investigating here. CSI Baldur's Gate is here. <laughs> okay. I use the, the light. Do you want to make me an Arcana check then? Yeah. Uh, no. Wait, without Jim, you guys really don't have anyone to check for <laughs> magic you, shit. And you knew that when you wrote the adventure, so don't act like, you know, this is like some... This it's is not like, easy, guys. This is some, it's not easy you know, to find magic shit. This That's is, all I'm saying. This is Trebek level shit. It's like, I have oh, an Arcana of zero. I have the whole adventure. Fun. Yeah. All right, here, I'm going to try to do it. There's also a bookshelf, there's paintings. I mean, there's, there's this, uh, a crime scene here to investigate. Whatever you guys want to do here, let me know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I don't do anything at all. I, I, I get an 11, <laughs> but that, is, that sucks balls. So, I thought uh, this came so to you me. just what go... The paintings? What's that? Hold on. You, you go to investigate this bird. This bird, yeah, yeah. He's so pointing you, at the bird. So you tap it. You're not magical in any way. And uh, it's a little clockwork bird. And as soon as you touch it, its wings start to flap. You can see the gears. You can hear them whirring inside of it. And it says, password, password. What did you want to do? Uh, well, I was going to check out the paintings. What are the paintings? But There's just a giant painting of Jim on the okay. wall. Do you want to you investigate? I do. I investigate. investigate. Give me an investigation painting. roll. My investigation skill is zero, so this should be great. Yeah. But these new dice. 
I'm telling you, that's an eight. <laughs> so. It's a painting of Jim. Is it really? It is really a painting of Jim. Okay. Yeah, 100%. Um, well, I don't know art, but I know what I like. <laughs> As I'm as I'm talking to God, I can't think of his name as Diz. anything other than Jizz now. Uh, Diz. You know, I, I will kind of you know like don't he had a good life? You know, I'm sure. You know, he's really he was off. so amazing. Yeah, he's he's uh, yeah, there's a farm where he can run and play now, <laughs> um, and he's really happy there. But I also I kind of want to pump him for information, like what sure. do you know about his friends? You know, trying to charm him, trying to intimidate him. Uh, I'm just, yeah, yeah, I'm just I, kind of like as I'm. I'm like, you know, he had, he had all these friends that came to his party. That means he had, I'm looking for information on the other guests. Like, has there been anything weird or was Jim worried sure. about? Uh, would that be investigation yeah, well, or give me a, acrobatics? It's not acrobatics. I'm not Chris. Uh, <laughs> performance. Yeah, I'd like you do performance. Is good. I'd like you to do performance. Or, or, yeah. you're, you're his new best friend. Yeah. You're trying to be anyway. 15? Fifteen, yeah. He he turns and lays his head on your shoulder, and it's just soaking Aww. you with tears now. He says, "I I admit I was going to be the killer. I was supposed to be the the pretend killer." And he pulls out a flask. This was the poison. You were going to find it on me. And then he drinks it all. It's just no, sugar water. You don't. It's just <laughs> sugar water. Did anyone else see that? Yeah, uh, I did. Okay. I'm like, <laughs> I. And I'll like pretty kind of just pick him up, and I'll bring him right over, and I'm like, I'm like, uh, poison, <laughs> poison, poison. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what do we do? Call the hotline. <laughs> it's just sugar water. It was all pretend. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. How was it supposed to happen? <laughs> well, he wasn't supposed to really die. <laughs> Were there any other clues? I'm wondering if the killer tried to make it map as closely as possible to the scenario. Was there, were, there, were there clues in place around the mansion? No, Had you, you were supposed kind of to find story? out he was poisoned, and then you were going to look in my cape, and I was going to have poison. So this was a very and short... And you were going to be like, hey, he poisoned Jim. It wasn't a mystery in the classic sense. I don't know. Jim is, Jim is very brilliant. He spent a long time working on that. Okay. <laughs> Months. It is. It is... It is elegant. Yeah. Now, Diz. In its simplicity. I know, <laughs> I know that you, you have committed the works of Jim. He often spoke of you. And I, know, and I know that he had a fondness for you that was like that of a master for its pet. That's what he said when he hit me. <laughs> That's right. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I, I let that moment sit for a second, and I tilt my head like a dog. <laughs> and then I remember that I have something to do, so I, I write myself, and I say, I know that you have spent much of your time committing Jim's words to memory. Oh, as many as I can. Did Jim ever talk to his bird? Oh, all the time, yes. What did he say? About his day, uh, about how stupid Binwin is, um, <laughs> about how he saved your life, um, about how much he hates Viari, uh, <laughs> all how, kinds of stuff. How would he greet the bird? Did he call it something? He had a special password, but he always cast silence before he did it. Shit! We can figure this out. <laughs> this is Jim, we can figure this out. Yeah, I I, What's that supposed Jim. to mean? You can ask it. No, 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 wait, wait. No, I, 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 got, I, I got this. I got, I got it. I got it. You, um, here. Yeah. you try first. Go um, for it. You know, I look for a post-it on his desk. <laughs> <laughs> with, with a word written on it. Yeah. Um, probably just one word, maybe with some capital letters and Special some exclamation character. points. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and over it it says password. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you see, you do find that uh, it looks like a torn piece of a scroll, and it says magic mail password, uh, Jim Dark Magic. Hmm. Okay. Okay, but, that's but what but I was going to guess. Is a is a one. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. All right. I feel like we did. I feel like we did what we're supposed to do. I, I, I speak to the, no, the rest of the people are out in the foyer, right? Uh, yeah, I've shoot them you sh out. You shoot them I'm, out. You're the muscle here. I'm muscle in the door. Actually, I hand that to him, and then I move 11 feet away. Okay. Yeah. Hey. That's very specific. Drist. 11 feet. Drist, I know that we, <laughs> I know that we met each other under uh, confusing, complicated circumstances. It was a very, very prom night sort of thing. Um, and I almost killed you. That, yeah, my friend almost <laughs> killed you, and, I, and obviously for that, I'm sorry. Um, but can you do me a favor? But you'll like to do the favor, so maybe it's okay. 
Absolutely. I want you to go into the foyer, and if anyone tries to leave, I want you to liquefy them. <laughs> Says. Do we have an agreement? I don't mind scaring a few folks, but I'm not interested in murdering people. Okay, well, what if you almost murder them? Like, what's your line? Now, if they attack you, I will cut them the hell up. Pathos <laughs> and Kira are both saying that they want to come back in the room. Like, Kira specifically says, I don't trust you around the body. I, I need to investigate this crime scene, hey, too. these are Jim's friends. Yeah. They'll take care of them. Yeah. Just leave it to us. I take the bird, and I get, and I get underneath Jim's desk. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I say, Jawanim dark magic. <laughs> <laughs> Jim won him. Best word, best word. Jim Dark Magic. Best word, best word. You asshole. Best word, best word. <laughs> Dark does Magic. He, does password, he have any password. sayings? Jim. Try password. Yep. Have a magical day. Best word, best word. Winks. Jim Winks. Record or play back? Play back. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking killing it every day, Scott. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I'm sick. Yeah. You're you know when even, I'm sick, I'm not even 100%. It. All right. Uh, so the tiny beak opens up as he sort of flutters up onto your shoulder and he turns his little Dead clockwork beak, head yeah. to you. And Jim's voice comes out of the bird and it says, Hello, bird. Uh, another exciting day. I've received a package from Roger. I love Roger. He was such a great guy. And you hear the package sort of rustling. <laughs> Man, it's been a long time since. Oh my God! <laughs> and then there's just static. Okay, so we need to find this box. We need to find the package. And no doubt it was Jizz's job <laughs> to, um, to throw it away. Shit's so gonna be shut down. That's so the next Diz Iberon. Diz Iberon? Iberon. Diz Iberon. Iberon? <laughs> Yeah, there's jizz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. He doesn't deserve that. No, no. So, so if we can talk to him about getting a hold of this thing, then we can do it. Now Kira can come in here and do whatever she wants, because we actually know what the and problem is. And he cried is. on your shoulder, so your shoulder's all wet with jizz. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> score! What? So, is being... <laughs> is being the dungeon master... For Acquisitions Incorporated, all that you hope. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> all right, so, but, but that's my track. I think it's okay to let people back in, because we right. have the inside track. I need to talk to And I will, uh, I'll be like, to Kira, and I go, I trust you, you can come on in. Not you, murder stomach. <laughs> this is because I'm a necromancer. You fucking I demand to come back into the Wait, room. No. He's a necromancer. Ah, we ah. got a dead body. He can, can you talk to dead people? And and uh, and I, I, I can do this also. I am also cool. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I think, you know, I, it's just I don't want to let him anywhere near my friend's him. corpse. Yeah. You know, he might not even. Maybe okay, he can we're gonna get do Jim both. To talk let's, 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 let's get. Let's I get. do not speak to the dead. I command the dead. Oh, uh, maybe he can command the dead to tell us what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I, I can also speak with dead, and that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Oh. Okay. We yep. have a less here. murdery man uh, exactly. in here that can do exactly. your job. I go out there and I say, hey, um, Viari, uh, he received a package from a Roger. See if you can get Diz. Uh, it would almost certainly have been Diz's job to throw it away. Uh, Diz. See if you can get Diz to get this stuff. I have to cast some spells on this dead man. Okay. So I'll, you, you, have go, to, you go ahead and do that. That's like a sentence do. I hear from you yeah. more than I had ever expected. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I will... And find out where Roger is. Yeah. So Diz, uh, yeah, he says, yeah, oh, I, right, yeah, I delivered his mail to him this morning. There was uh, a couple letters from fans and uh, one small package about, about this big, and I put it right on his desk, right in front of him. And it's not there now. Actually, we all talked to the guests out there. Do I remember anyone being conspicuously absent a little bit, like at some point? No. I know a good trick that'll work. Uh, I Who killed the, this man? I look at the crowd and I go, Hey, Roger! <laughs> Make me a uh, deception check. Okay. That's actually... I have, a, good. I, have a, I, have, I have a minus one in deception. No, no, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> because it's, it's charisma-based. That doesn't matter. Here we go, I'm going to roll a high score. Holy shit, it's a nine. 
That is not a high score. <laughs> Kira looks at you and says, So eight. What's wrong with you? You met all of us. There's no Roger here. No one you, I don't remember you, Jim talking about a Roger at any point? No. Hmm. <coughs> Son of a bee. All right, here. So, so you, you try to get a hold of the package. Okay, yeah. Where's the package? Also, I, I'm going to frisk. I put it on his desk. It should be right in front of him. Afterwards, like, how long has it been? And as I'm holding this boy up in the air, I'm, I'm also will. I'll see if he has anything interesting on him other than... So as you're frisking him... It's not like that. <laughs> he says, look, where he's laying, it looks like he would have fallen right on top of it. I mean, it, it was right his there. Le his left hand was clutching something, right? Mm, mm. His right hand was under him, yeah, left right, arm pointed right at hand. the bird. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I, I wasn't <clears throat> eager no, no, to... No. You know, if he's clutching. I'm, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. It. I mean, because sometimes one doesn't know. People die. You're because, saying you're, you know. you're talking about autoerotic <laughs> asphyxiation. Um, I just didn't want to roll him over with all the people in here. Yeah. That's not how you want to. Get a and surprise. The little boy is right. here too. Sausages out there and in here. Yeah. Um, so the guy from an excess. An yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> so, give me back. I, I'm going to see what this what this right hand is holding. So you you push Jim up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you sort of push his corpse back, and, and it's okay if Kira's in here now. That's fine. Yeah. You see, in his hand, he's he's holding a large a death orb. A large gem. It's the death orb. Right. A large purple gem. Ooh, Ooh looks like that. that. Oh. You had that with you? I carry it in my pocket. <laughs> Do you pick it up? Uh, yeah, no, not yet. If a DM ever says, do you pick it up, <laughs> that's never good. No, seriously, yeah, it's fine. You he, might be a redneck. Uh, but yeah, you see in his hand, <laughs> this, there's this big purple gem. Okay. It's, sort of, it's sort of glowing. Yeah, I bet it is. Um, Arcana. Oh, does, Jim does that. Does it look like there's anything maybe trapped inside the gem? Uh, you want to make me an Arcana check? Sure. Or Perception, if I can just see or it. Or Perception, but. yeah. Ooh. Damn, that's a dress <laughs> roll. <laughs> 24. Oh, oh shit. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah. So you, you walk up to this thing, and you can see <clears throat> that it's actually a, a black gem. It was like a, a black obsidian stone. But deep inside that of it, there's purple this purple guy. glow. Yeah. Oh, maybe he's in here. Yeah. Like his spirit's in here. We just have to get it from here back into there. I, get, I bet you if you just smash this. No, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Double axe oh. to the gem. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, at this point, um, Pathos and Kira, uh, Kira's checking the bookshelf. Yeah, absolutely. And she sees uh, an old book. She pulls out a spell book, and a piece of paper sort of floats out of it onto the ground. She doesn't notice it. She's, she's too busy looking through the... You did uh, such a good job on that drawing, dude. I killed it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I, did, <clears throat> I just run over, and I just I grab it, and then I run back to where I was. Uh, <laughs> It's it's a little smooth. It's a little photo, and it's a photo of a very young Jim and what looks like a very young Pathos at school. Um, you can see that Jim is holding a big <laughs> trophy, <laughs> and it says uh, "Number One oh, no. Magic Guy." Does, <laughs> does and then underneath it a, says "Best at Magic." Does Pathos, does magic is Pathos a holding a smaller trophy? Pathos does not have a trophy. Oh. He's in the background, sort of watching. He's very thin, like rail thin, gaunt. No big tummy? No big tummy. That's, oh that's the front of it. It's just a photo. But it says, uh, Roger and I, 67. <gasps> Reveal. I flip it back over. It's still just a photo of Jim <laughs> and Patha. I flip it over again. It still just says Jim, Roger and Jim, 67. I flip it over and then I flip it over again real fast. Still just a picture and still just the inscription. <laughs> it turns into a dove and flies away. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> At this point, Ben, when you notice Pathos creeping towards the desk. Yeah, dude, this is necromancy as fuck. <laughs> What's our play here? Should we let him incriminate himself? Uh, he can't be allowed to get the gem. He clearly just wants to imprison him. He, he could... This is his opportunity to get back at him for whatever happened in high school. As a necromancer, the only one here skilled in the art of death... I think I should probably be the one to examine the gem. No. Uh, no. I don't think so, Roger. <laughs> what did you call me? I called you Roger because you went to school with him a long time ago and when you guys were young, and then I have a picture of you sort of looking at him from behind, getting kind of weird and looking kind of crazy, and, he, and Jim is holding the trophy, and so you're clearly mad at him about that still for whatever reason. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, long story short, let me let me let me TLDR for you. You're not any getting anywhere near this fucking gem. Finn wins, stab him. Maybe the. <laughs> <laughs> I stab <laughs> him. You want to you attack him? I'll stab him with the dagger. It was a direct order. All right. I'm not smart enough to not just do whatever Omen tells me. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are with these dice? Don't buy this from tabletitans.com. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to put this 20. This 20 needs to cook more. What'd you get? Anything? Try one oh, of these. Oh, well, I got a four. No. The try one, try one of these plump ones. Uh, I will next time. So you, you try to stab him, and he reaches down and, and uh, grabs your hand, looks at you and says, you think too highly of yourself, dwarf. And then with his other Ooh. hand, you see that he has sort of a hooked blade on his thumb. Of course. He jams it into his chest and starts tearing down the front of his robes. Oh, that's... They spill open and bones tumble out. And two skeletons rise up in front of him. I would like you guys to roll for initiative. Murderer! <laughs> oh, that's it. Here, let me, let me just put, let me just put Viari's uh, initiative dice right here, Ooh. where it can be seen by all. What was it? That's a 20. Oh, but, then, but then what's it? Plus five. So it's 25. Basically, he went <laughs> last week. Yeah. What else we got? Five. Oh, okay. <laughs> Leisurely. I'm pretty freaked out by this. <laughs> Bone shit stomach 14? vomit. Yeah. Okay. All right, I got a 16. Oh, wow, okay. But I get to kill, so I'm excited. <laughs> it does. Yeah, there's a large, beautiful crystal chandelier <clears throat> sort of set up into the ceiling. Is there a fireplace? There's no fireplace. Okay. Uh, Pat, Viari. Um, I'm assuming this is fairly close quarters in it's here. A, yeah, it's a very small room. Everyone is sort of within range of everyone. Um, I'd like to take a movement so that I position myself so I can attack the necromancer, but also I'm directly in Drizzt's line of sight so he can gets a really good angle on what I'm doing. Okay. Um, not for flanking or anything, I just want to... You want to impress him? Well, yeah, shit. Yeah, you know? sure, that's fair. You want to end up in one of those books. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, you want to you end up in his Instagram feed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If only you knew someone else who wrote books. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ooh. I don't know. I'm sorry. That's ice I'm not cold. Feeling you, great. you are delirious <laughs> with fever. I know. It's the Dayquil talking. I'm really sorry. You're getting those Dayquil visions. I All right. So okay. what's happening here? What are you um, doing? You know, you you bring out the belly skeletons, and I don't feel the need for <laughs> belly scales. Yeah, belly scale. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna attack them all over. Are you going after the skeletons or Bellitons. after pathos? Bellitons. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Slightly less intimidating yeah. called Bellington. It's about branding at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, I do still have the apocalypse dagger. Kay. Question mark? Yes. I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, you got it. Okay. So yeah, I will attack him uh, in all of the places. Okay. Ooh. I get a uh, an 18 Ooh. and a and a really big like 20. Oh shit! Yeah, both something. of those are hits. Okay. Yeah, they both land. And now that his, his robes are sort of hanging off of him in shreds, Ugh. you can see that this white, frail skin underneath just Ugh. gaunt and emaciated. Yeah. So gross. <laughs> okay. So you need any more dice? Like, could be. That's a lot of dice. That's three ones. That's the same as no dice. <laughs> Six. Are you ten, holding the gym? Fifteen. I'm, holding, I'm gonna hold the gym now that this motherfucker's in here. The gym gym? Yeah. Kay. The gym gym. So you hold a Jim Jim just so I know who's got it. I do. You die. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> With my sneak attack, I get uh, 26. Ooh. 26 damage? Jesus. Okay. Yeah. So you stab right into the center of him. Uh, and he reaches and he looks down at this sort of black ichor pouring out. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, and he says, this was going to be easy, but you've made it so hard now. 
I didn't mean that in a sexual way. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> I realize now it's sort of weird. And I do have an erection, but not because... <laughs> it's, it's not as a direct result. It's just whenever yeah. I'm in a room with a corpse, I get a little excited. I just leave the sword. Kay. I don't want to you know what? use it again. We can get you a new fucking sword. <laughs> just... <laughs> uh, next up... Um, Kira, uh, she looks at Pathos, she sees the fight going on over there, and she sidles up right behind Omen and tries to drive two swords into your back. No! Oh, I forgot and to mention. A 19. <laughs> that would have been good info. Yeah. She's, she's an assassin. Uh, oh shit, someone wants to kill you. A cool 19 info. and a 23. Uh, those miss. I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> so two short swords appear out of your stomach. <laughs> It's very surprising. Ouch. And you take... A lot. Oh, I get sneak attack also, so it's fine. Need a bunch of sixes here? No, 16 damage. Nah. No, is it two separate attacks? It was two attacks, Okay, yeah. so my DR3, I, I, shave, I, shave some, I shave six off okay. of so 10. All right. Uh, and you, you feel the swords come, come into your back, and she whispers into your ear, uh, you just got Kirad. <laughs> <laughs> Still working on that. Yeah, yeah. workshopping it. Uh, there's a comment box out front. What did you think? Before you die, what do you think? One to ten. Uh, uh, next <coughs> is... Oh, Pathos. Uh, he raises a, a disgusting, hand, withered hand at you, Viari, uh, and he shouts, Ray of sickness! <laughs> oh, that's a natural 20. Uh. Oh. Too bad there's no camera here, but it is. It's funny. Bring it. Uh, so it's 25 total. Uh, let's see, I need some. Can I borrow a couple of these? Yeah, sure, sure. of course. Ooh. There. Uh, it's only 11 damage. Dude. Uh, but I need you to make a constitution check to see if you are poisoned. To see if you become gross. <laughs> uh, probably not. I got a 9. No, you fail. You're poisoned now. Uh, you're going to be poisoned for a round. Okay. And do I take additional poison damage now, or...? Uh, I think it's at the start of the... Start, start of the round. Start of the round. scabby boils appear yeah. on your ding You're just dong. covered in pustules. Man, on your ding dong. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Omen, uh, you're holding the gem, and yeah. you can feel inside of it, Jim, his, now that you're holding it, his, his sort of spirit trying to escape. Yeah. And you can also feel that you now have access to Jim's magic missile as a bonus action... Ooh. You can cast Jim's Magic Missile, which is going to be three bolts of, of missiles, uh, and that's going to be um, uh, their D4s. Yep. So can I talk to him? Is he in there like that? Uh, you don't feel like you can communicate with him. You just sort of feel him inside of it. Okay. Okay. So is it my kind turn? Of, kind of throbbing. The, the yeah. gem is Pulsing. throbbing in yeah. your yeah. hand. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so throbbing gem. Is, is, that's is, great. It, is it my turn also? It's your turn, yeah. Okay. Um, two things. I have the black gem here, and I have... Uh, my maul in this hand, and I'm going to use my bonus action to turn around and just bring it across the assassin. Oh, okay. Just like with the with the swords in, just <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you clubber. Right, and that is like I say, that's just the bonus action. That's not Take my real club. action. Son of a b. You know what? I don't care. Six um, plus six. I'm going to use guided strike uh, to make it a twenty-two. Jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Yeah, <clears throat> that connects with her jaw. Uh, that's nine plus three, so 12, and I deal a 1d8 radiant because uh, of this level that I'm at, so 14 points. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not talking to her. We're not having a conversation. Well, she can't talk anymore because you broke her jaw. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the extent of it, and yeah. I, just, I, just, I just nod. Like, this fight's over. <laughs> Kill one of my employees instead. <laughs> I've got some shit to do. Understood. And I, 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 um, I like, like over the hood of the General Lee, mm. I slide over Jim's desk. <laughs> <laughs> and from, from behind him in his chair, he is in front of me. He's dead. He can take damage and it's okay. Sure. Um, I cast, I have my hand around the front of him and I have the gem and I cast Speak with Dead okay. on Jim. And I say, Jim, how do I get you out of this fucking gem and put you back in your gym? Out of the gym gym? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, and you hear Jim's voice. Yeah. He says, hello. No, no, no. We don't you have to Jim. You Jim Dark Magic. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jim, 
I'm dead. <laughs> no. No, if no, Jim. If you are a fan trying to reach me in the afterlife, please press one. Jim. <laughs> if you're a friend or loved one of Jim, please, please press two. I, I'm if racist. If you're an enemy of Jim, please go away. <laughs> Is there a, I say two. <laughs> you are a friend or family member of Jim. If you wish to communicate with him in the afterlife, please die and find him there. <laughs> <laughs> That's my turn, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Drizzum. All right. <laughs> Drizzum. The, the, the jizz is spreading. I hope yeah. no one from Hasbro is watching this. <laughs> <laughs> this will be our last event. Yeah. All right. I will draw my scimitars and try to stick them through Kira. Oh, okay. The first Even one is a natural one. Nice. Woo. Nobody saw that. No, but does he have advantage? Nobody Even with saw her that. broken jaw, she nimbly deflects that strike. Yeah. Hello from the other there side. There we go. So icing death misses horribly. Okay. Twinkle. Oh. Man. Uh, rolls a twenty. Are those Jeez. Really <laughs> rolls yeah. a real twenty. Yep. Shit. Wow. And that's gonna do nine to her. And okay. then I'll take icing death again and stab oh, her. Oh jeez. Okay. And what the fuck is wrong with you, Ice? <laughs> <laughs> Wake up! Wait, is that super He's a delicious? Yeah. Watching him on the no, no yes. on the second icy death. No, uh, nothing on the second one. Okay, so at, at this point, she's down on one knee. I will use blood my action pouring out surge. Of her. Oh, okay. Oh, she's. Oh. She looks up at you through the blood. Her jaw just barely <laughs> hanging there. Okay. Icing death. I'll just look up at you. Got one more chance, buddy. Here we yeah. go. There we go. Twenty-eight. Slice yeah. her head off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No. Yeah. Completely dead. Oh. You just got drizzled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's this Albert doing? Yeah, I kind of wonder if she is she just sitting in oh, an yeah, armchair like. Oh yeah, no, Mrs. Albert has, has fainted. Oh. oh. She's on the ground, completely fainted. Yeah. Just out cold. It makes sense. Yeah. This is some weird shit. Can uh, I catch her before she falls? Yeah, you lower her gently. With one hand, you just sort of reach out. Yes. Yeah, oh. while attacking. <laughs> the head flies off and he's like, zoom. Uh, two skeletons charge at you. Yeah. And you can see that they're obviously trying to grasp at the gem that you have. Uh, here comes a rusted short sword. Ooh, that's tetanus. 20. Yeah, that's it. Uh, five damage. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, six damage. Uh, and then the other one... Ooh. 19. Uh, five, uh, six damage again. Okay, so six total. Love it. And they are trying to get this gem from me. They you. can't have it. Next, it's not back to the top, Viari. Hello. Yep. Oh, yeah, I didn't put you in there. Viari. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Sorry. You're at the bottom. You're so far. I wrote you so far below yeah. that I didn't see it. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, Go to work. So you've got two skeletons trying to beat the shit out of Omen. Kira's head has been lopped off. That's all right. She's the only girl that's wanted to have sex with me in a long time, but she's dead. <laughs> Is there anything between me and Porthos or Pathos or whatever? Two skeletons. Roger. Oh. Okay, well, I rage. Okay. And uh, I scream catchphrase, mm. which is my catchphrase. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> and then I swing at the first skeleton. Okay. What do we see? The fuck? Ten. Fellows. They're not hard to hit, but they're harder than that. <laughs> That's okay. I get two attacks per round. What about 18? That hits. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can I have my D8 back? Yeah. Thank you. Eight plus four plus two. You do the math. No. Okay. Well, eight plus 14. four is 26. <laughs> is, it, is it 14? 14. How'd you do that so fast? Uh, I'm, I've been playing this since I was six. <laughs> yeah, you slice right through one of them and he just crumples back into a pile of bones on the floor. But I bet that's not permanent. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Action surge. Okay. Woo! Yeah. yeah. That's it. Just deal with the skeleton problem. I get to do it again. Bellaton. The United Colors of Bellaton. First attack on the Bellington. Nine plus seven. That's a hit. Okay. I'm assuming. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bummer. Uh, seven. Okay. Seven damage? Yeah. It's not very much. 
Apparently, you have to be a bar to do that kind of damage. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fuck this dice, too. <laughs> uh, you're all done? I'm, apparently. All right, so you destroy one of the skeletons. It's just a pile of bones now. The other one is still trying to get at this gem Scrabbling. that you're holding. Uh, and we're back to Viari. Now, I actually do get two per turn. Or I think you get three a turn, and then your action surge would have been a fourth. I don't think you rolled your third. Oh, God, fail hour is somewhere backstage in a, having a seizure. Because, like, you're just straight up badass fighter. I did I'm pretty it wrong. sure you're right. You get, you get one it's more really attack. It's really too bad we can't rewind time. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, the power is corrupting him. Dude, it's, he's gone mad with so it. little power. <laughs> so, is that you? I'm sorry. Do you, have, do you have a magic spell to rewind time and do it right? I don't. Okay. Viari. <laughs> I love this man. I love, I love you a little more. Um, okay, so I, I'm, I, I'm a little irritated that uh, I attacked the necromancer and I'm covered in boils, oh. and Drizzt has managed to like save the fainting person and behead, behead someone. Oh, yeah, it's been really impressive. Yeah, you know. But In I fact, there's a suit of armor behind Drizzt that all, all of a sudden just goes... <laughs> 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 so, uh, so, yeah, I'm... I, I will. I will just straight up attack him. Okay. Oh, chandelier. Oh, I've got a. Do I take my poison damage now? Uh, yeah, sure. My take uh, six. Damn. Maybe you can like slash a rope and cause the chandelier just to. <clears throat> you know. Right down on top of it. It's magically floating there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I... Lasso it, what pull the... it down, and swing it around like a giant mace. <laughs> You know, technology isn't always an sure. improvement on... Sure. Yeah, okay. Oh, see, I'm so upset by this chandelier thing that I completely shit the bed. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure, like, 15? 15 hits. Okay. Yeah. Woo! I'm just Bellington. Yeah. And... No, this is no, the this dude. No, this is Pathos. He's hitting oh. Pathos. And so here is... Six. You are cruising. Six. six. My friend. Six plus. It's just six. Oh. <laughs> that's with the. Uh, the that's God. You got makes it. it feel so inadequate as a DM. <laughs> uh, and that's all you're going to do? It's. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'll use, I'll use my... Uh, I can jump back in at any time. I'll, I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll use my cunning action <laughs> to just kind of feel sorry for myself. Okay. To oh. mope? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Here's I'm, dead. I'm up at eighth level. <laughs> Pathos uh, reaches out and grabs a hold of your arms, and you can feel him trying to drain your life force from you. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Roll to 15 plus 5 is a 20, which is going to hit you, I assume. Oh, yeah. man, that hits him dead on. I need some D6s. Son of a bitch. Get ready for some necrotic damage. Uh, See, that's yeah. the worst kind of it's damage. It's only 11 damage, but I am going to heal then for five. Oh. Uh, and as he sort of does, you can see this disgusting smile come upon his face. That's like double gross. Yeah. Can, can I borrow your pencil? And he goes, you yeah. taste delicious. Oh. Ew. Ew. Uh, next is Omen. You still got the Jim Jim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... <clears throat> There's no more messages. That's literally what I get when I try to talk to the dead Jim. He doesn't want to be bothered in the afterlife. Why don't it's vacation? Yeah. All right. And I'm just holding the gem. Yeah, you, you can feel that it, it is still, it possesses some of Jim's power. Like if you wanted to cast Magic Missile as that bonus action, you can. Yeah. But other than that, Jim is just trapped in this gem. Okay, then I, I have to, I'm going to rush at Pathos. Okay. Uh, I'm going to smack him with the maul. Uh, up front. Okay. You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. You're no rolling. book contract for you. You're <laughs> terribly rolling today. It's the worst. Yeah, this I, is add him up. Really add him up. What do you got? Yeah. No. He's, he's a necromancer. Nine. He's... No. Yeah, exactly. I know. So, but I have a bonus action, <coughs> and I can use that to uh, do an extra attack. Okay. That will hit. The magic right? missile auto hits. Magic yeah, magic missile right. auto hits. Magic missile just automatically yeah. hit. Okay. Yeah, okay. Perfect for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I bring them all up. <laughs> like for, for, I bring them all up for one more hit. Okay. And then it's like, fuck it. I drop them all and I hold the gem out. Like 3D4. This. Four. 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 
Four. Nice. Jim says hi. One. Yeah, uh, nine. Uh, and each one is plus one. So, Five, 12. 12. 12. Twelve. Joe, are you uh, proud of me? I did it. You did but it. <laughs> because you rolled four, it's like the power of this, this spell is such that the kickback throws you back across Jim's desk, <laughs> and you lose the hold of the gem, and it falls to the floor. Oh, God damn it. Uh, it's but, not easy being but Jim. But Pathos now <laughs> is... Give me that. Yeah. Pathos now is screwed. Uh, next is... Some skeletons. Drism. All right. Can I <laughs> run up the wall, leap off the aquarium, yeah. <laughs> bounce off the picture of Jim Dark Magic, and land on top of the chandelier? Yeah, you don't even have With to roll. With an acrobatic? Okay, great. No You're no roll needed. All right. You don't even have to roll. No. <laughs> I will stow my swords. Okay. I will pull out Talmaro, the bow given to me by my beloved. And I wow. will take one shot at Pathos. 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 I Rod thought Wright. it was going to be me, actually. <laughs> I'm just putting you out of your misery, boy. 19. 19 hits. It's been yeah. sad. It's been real sad. For nine piercing damage. And it turns into this streak of silver as it slams into his chest. Okay. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's down on one knee now, cl clutching the, the arrow that's stuck in his stomach. I'll make the second attack roll. Ooh. Fifteen. That hits. <laughs> For fourteen. <laughs> yeah. so he's got the one in there, and the other one just pins him This one's at point blank. You're just above him. You actually right. push the arrow like against his head, and you let it go. Uh, <laughs> and he falls down dead right All on right. the floor. Uh, And then you hear uh, a, a skeletal laugh as you notice the, the remaining skeletons mm -hmm. snatch up the Jim Jim and make a, a beeline for the door. Uh, Binwin. I use my third attack. <laughs> <laughs> Binwin. All right. This is I'm, it. I'm going to stop him. Yes. I need to find yes. the right dice, though. Do it. That one's been good so far. I need a, a carpenter's dice. <laughs> the dice of a the carpenter. Dice of a oh, carpenter. this is the dice of a carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a natural 20, you gotta keep that die. Yeah. I don't know whose it is, so. It's, it's, it's yours if you roll a natural 20. This is my first attack. This is gonna be good. Two oh, shit. <laughs> I home. chose what? poor. No, what, is it, what does it take to hit these things? <laughs> uh, 12. Try this one. 12? Yeah. I use, no, I use War God's Inspiration. Okay. Ooh. And I make it a hit. Ooh. Well, hold wow. on. It's actually two plus seven, so it's nine. Oh. Nine? Is, I told you it's 12, but that's less than nine. <laughs> but he's, you're using... I'm using War God's Inspiration. So you go, and it, it's, it glances away, and then uh, the power of my God grants it Great. at the last second. Can you give me a second? Yeah. You know I have problems with math. I know you do. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even think you do that. I'm really sorry. That was not cool. Okay. I'm sorry. That's my, that's my fault. <laughs> Just between us. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I won't do it again, I promise. All right, give so me So I, I hit him. Give me I some damage. so hard. Eight. Is that with your rage? That was with my rage. Okay. It was a two plus four, that's six plus two is yep. eight. I can do that. Okay. Wait, that's just one of my three. Oh, times. okay, good. That one is an 18. Oh. Yeah. Uh, seven. You only had five left. Yeah. Right. So you you break him apart. Yep. Just click 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 all the bones. No, you fall have to down. get the gem before it falls. Like. Uh, yeah. Make me a dexterity check. That I can do. Hold on. Now I get a plus two to this. Twelve. You reach out and snatch the gem there's, there's before it hits the ground. Yes. <laughs> so. I cast magic missile at Dritz. <laughs> <laughs> they automatically hit. Now that you have the gem, it's containing Jim's soul. It's just a matter of finding a wizard uh, and, you know, paying enough money, I guess, to get the soul put back in the body. You could probably just, like, I know a wizard. Just, just touch it. No, no, like, put it in him, right? Isn't that great. how it works? I, put it in his mouth. Yeah. I really thought... Or... Like, butt. You put it in his butt. I really thought that would go longer. Uh, that's all I got. No, we have to... We, we're going we're gonna to get Jim and no, then... No, that's, the, that's my whole adventure. I don't know if... Anybody else has anything? Yeah. Well, I, uh, I don't have anything else to work on, and, you know, I'm just kind of kicking around. Did you write something? Uh, I, I do have something with me. Well, you should, you should oh. write it. Yeah! <clears throat> Thank 
Duke. Thank you. Michael. Jerry. Nice oh. work. What a treat. Thank you. That was awesome. That was Thank fun. you very much. Yeah. Hold on. Hey, Pat, are you one of those stand-up DMs? Oh, does... Like, will you be standing I, I up? I think so. Excellent. <laughs> I, this is really a great view, isn't it? It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty cool to sit there. I don't know, it's pretty cool when people say, who's your DM, and you go, Patrick Rothfuss. <laughs> <laughs> when it's not Chris Perkins. Yeah. <laughs> like, the first two sessions are great, and then, you know. It's... Oh. <laughs> then he never came back. No, there's no, that I, weird we, kind of half session. Yeah. Right, and we He's, try to schedule the third one, yeah. but then he somebody's busy. <laughs> You only need two. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, we get it. Um, so, <laughs> is Jim still dead? Yeah, he's going to be a gem through this whole thing. <laughs> Actually, let's bring it out as his mini. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe I will. I'll start off. No, no, I'm, I'm a stander. Uh, you start. Uh, you're at headquarters, right? And uh, you have just managed to uh, be reinsold. Oh, good. Um, but that gem is up your butt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. It's the first until sensation. We can, until we can find a wizard to transfer it. <laughs> you stored it there. Yeah. Sense. You've you've got like a gympository. <laughs> <laughs> just keistered up there. Yeah. Okay. Just keistered. That's yeah. the word I was looking for. You used that last time. No. No, Jim. Jim Positori is, uh... <laughs> yeah. As a writer. As a writer. Thank you. Oh, I can feel, like, like the power here is really... Yeah, isn't it great? This is, yeah. is going to go yeah. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm letting everyone know now. You're at the headquarters, and one of your lieutenants comes up. I know you guys are probably hanging out, having a meal together, sharing some time, right. and reminiscing a little bit. Viari who was all covered in pus and boils at the end of the last yeah. adventure. Yeah, it's like kind of, tight. he kind of left. He said he had like an appointment. He made a real big point of it being a date, but you know that he's just kind of. It's the CDC. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's got to get some shit checked out. Yeah. He's, they got to uh, do that thing with your urethra. <laughs> <laughs> just bore it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see you've <laughs> been to the CDC. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so uh, he's, he's gone away. And one of the lieutenant comes up and says, you know, do you have a way to contact Master Viari? Uh, I might. Uh, um, has email been invented? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we, uh, there's something urgent. We're supposed to go to Master Viari, uh, but uh, we haven't been able to find him. He's not in his rooms. Is he on uh, Spell Facebook? <laughs> <laughs> it's Snape Chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do, do I have, I mean, do we have, is it like Voltron? Like, do I, I, I have some little brothels? That'll activate. <laughs> There's a lot of brothels. Yeah. Uh, I'll check them all. <laughs> <laughs> however long it takes. I'll, however long, it's, I'll be thorough. Yeah. That's check dedication. Every nook and I'm going to take the company card, but. Check every nook and cranny. It's, uh. it was, it, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it says, it's, it, Master Biari always told us it was, it was urgent and we should always come directly to him. Um, but I, I, I really don't know what to do here. Also, let's go back for a second. Master Viari? <laughs> yes, Master Viari. Is, not, is, is that what he... Oh, that's his, his title, isn't it? Here? Can I be Master Jim? No. <laughs> yeah, and I'm Master Benwin. I'm going to call you Master Benwin. There's, you call me Master Jim if Master I call Jim? you... Master Jim? Sure. Mm -hmm. All right, Master Benwin. Master Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, anyway, so you were supposed to contact him immediately under what circumstances? Um, in the control room, um, well, you just yeah. come and I'll show let's, you. That'd be great, yeah, let's do that. Uh, so does everyone go? Oh yeah. Yeah, I want to see what's going on. Okay, so there's the control room, and there's kind of the, 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 the array of lights, switches, levers that control all of the, the fabulous gear that's all been All the installed. beeps and the boops. Yep. 
Yep. It's very supervillain layer. Oh, it's yeah. like our danger room? Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. And uh, over in one side, kind of like on a, a lesser used portion of it, there's a little red light flashing. Do I know what that does? You know, do I know you, what it represents? You don't remember that particular panel being there when you signed the requisition for the, the work order that was. Oh, that means I have, we have a message at the front desk. <laughs> <laughs> I will approach it. You see, it says budget overrun. <laughs> oh. It's nothing. I just unscrew it. <laughs> Put that, yeah, it's, it got fucked up. It's, something's fucked up with it. Um, We're still getting paid though, right? Oh. And there's, there's, a yeah. series, there's a series of lights. There's only, there's only like four of them. And it says, uh, Istar facilities. Istar? Yeah. Do I recognize that as like a magical word or anything? I'll take uh, an investigation. I'll I'm going to roll history. I have history. Can I roll history? Absolutely. That's a 20. Thank you, DM, that I love so I'll much. I'll take it. 24 on a natural 20. 20 on a natural 20. You are the president oh. yeah. of Iskar Facilities. Yeah. And a member of the fan club. 17. Nope. Um, you, you don't, unfortunately. That's oh. fine. Uh, but you actually remember, uh, not from you know, history, it's not a magical thing, but you remember now that you're thinking of it a couple of times, like when you're hanging out or during dinner, somebody comes in, talks to Viari, and it kind of comes down, and he's just, it's, it's, it's star, it's star. Mm. And then he's like, oh, I'll be right back, guys. And he leaves, and sometimes he doesn't come back for a while. He's probably just doing Iskar stuff. I Do mean, you remember anything? Yeah, I guess he's, Jim? he's just probably out Iskaring, <laughs> as far as I can tell. <laughs> um, and, and he goes, uh, the, the, the lieutenant who brought you in here says, you know, uh, the facility out there, uh, it, has been, it has been showing an unusual amount of activity lately. What kind of facility do we have in Iskar? I don't, know. I, I don't know about this at all. You absolutely do not know about this. Okay, so you said there was more lights. So there's we just, have there's just budget, four. Iskar. It's, well, and then it's, it's, it late, all four lights are for the facility, and one of them says budget overrun. And the other ones are like a series of acronyms, it looks like, but it don't seem to make any sense to Oh, uh, So this panel is for this facility, and its budget is overrun, and it's somewhere else. Okay. So Viari yeah. set up his own. <laughs> he set up his own. Company. Company. His own like his own subway. Somewhere? Yeah. Eat fresh. <laughs> all right. Five dollar footlongs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All day. So, <laughs> five, <laughs> five copper foot lungs. Five copper foot lungs. So, um, I'm writing that down. Yeah, Where's so, my pencil? So we need to... I took it. Okay, so we... We, that we, we, we have to turn his room over. Okay. Um, you head in. Uh, you, you obviously have... Does my room even have a lock? I think that you think that it has a lock. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an eye hook. Yeah. yeah. You know? So you, you put your hand in, you tip up the eye hook. Um... And you see, you know, there's uh, his desk, some papers scattered around there. And actually, you see like a, a, a little, I wouldn't say a blueprint, but there's a, Diagram. a picture of a, uh, a building, you know, and, you know, Ishtar facility, potential new location, <laughs> old location, you know. Wow, is, he's stepping out. Yeah, uh, but you actually recognize that little part of the city. Uh, really? Where the old, you know, it like, looks like he's looking to branch out. And the old one, you're like, oh, right, that's kind of down in the CD part of town. Mm. Yeah, but affordability obviously is a factor. Yeah. Um, you know, when creating something of that sure. nature. Wow. Okay. Um, I, I take the picture and I turn it over. <laughs> <laughs> on, the, on the back side, it says, make sure to put these papers somewhere no one. <laughs> we'll find them. <laughs> okay, good, good, good try. Good try, Viari. <laughs> I said it back. I said, I know exactly where Iskar Facilities is. And before you guys ask, I have never heard of Iskar Facilities. Yeah, so we weren't all given our own, like, franchises? Uh, he wasn't given a franchise either. Let that be very clear. You I, told me I couldn't have a franchise. You yeah. told Master Binwin he couldn't have a franchise? Uh, uh, I, Maybe we, you should, guys should try being adventurous. No, no. <laughs> we all have... Maybe you'd be better at that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we all have the franchises. Uh-huh. We all have them. Mm. Mm. 
At this we, point, the yeah. intern or, or the, the lieutenant runs back in, and he's like, he's like, sir, the light's gone blue. Great. Uh, the hell does that mean? Not great. I don't know, but Master Viari said that if the light was blue, it's. I got the impression it was. I'm supposed to let him know. Again, blue light special. Yeah, the savings are going to be incredible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I say. Well, we're we're on it. Okay. Thanks, thanks for helping him run a completely unauthorized <laughs> sub franchise <laughs> out of this opportunity that I provided for you. Good job. He, he goes pale. He's Get like, the fuck out. <laughs> he said, yes, sir, I, I, he told me that. To lie constantly <laughs> in my direct he presence. He told me that you, you, you hated to be bothered about these things. Yeah. No, uh, I that's a good one. no, I love to be bothered about wholly unauthorized sub facilities. <laughs> sir, I, 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 I assure you that if, if only I'd known, I, uh, I would have come to you and asked for more of a bribe <laughs> than he was offering me. I guarantee, I know that's in the handbook. I know that's policy. Um, Always check with Omen oh, to see if he can the, bribe you better. better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's chapter 13. Yeah. Yeah, so put all of your stuff in a box. And then when I come back, we'll talk about what is going to happen to the box. <laughs> put everything that you really like in there. Okay? Sounds good. Yes, sir. All right, find a broom. Are we going to check out this facility? That's where we're going right now. Okay, you head off to um, <clears throat> this part of town, seedy. There is an alleyway. And, uh, always just an alleyway. Always an alleyway, dead-end alleyway. And then you see there's just sort of a wooden door, n nondescript, there's no sign, there's no nothing. Um, All the best places. Yep. There's a secret menu. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> I knocked the door down. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Kick it in. I kick it in. That's how I do. I'm gonna do my brand. Bam. Strength this be check. A strength check. Yeah. Strength. Oh, that shit gets kicked oh, in. Oh boy. 18 yeah. plus seven. Uh, I see. decimate that door. This comes right out of no, his No, it becomes pocket. an aerosol. <laughs> <laughs> I feel uh, kind of strange, just sort of standing behind them and watching them as they're breaking <laughs> into this place. Kind of. Like, Maybe I should just slip away. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe they'll get into no, deep you're a, trouble. You're a valued member. Good. You're going you're to get used to how we do things. Yeah. Yeah. Master I'm going to stick with them simply because I am concerned for their well-being at this point. <laughs> they seem... <laughs> this, this smells like a trap. They seem oh. completely incompetent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. You weren't ready for me to kick that door in, were you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't see, that's all I had. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't think you'd go inside. I just... Uh, yeah, I had, I had two-thirds of it. I had a lot of James up. Bond shit. <laughs> <laughs> that joke's never going to get old. Um, so, uh, you come in inside a small windowless room. Um, there's a table and uh, a little plaque on the wall that says... Uh, it has been zero days since... <laughs> since we lost this, the door. This is our last door incident. <laughs> Employee of the month, yeah. Viari. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, there's, it's all him. <laughs> our president. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and there's the, uh, a little plaque there on the table is a stack of paper and there's a metal turnstile leading out of the room. Um, and what the fuck is he doing? So you all come in and it says, uh, there's also a, a little metal grill up there and a voice comes through. It says, Thank you for participating in the ISTAR program. <laughs> and what? you see this little plaque on the wall. It says, oh, fuck, where did I write it down? <laughs> <laughs> I, I forget my own acronym. Uh, it says intern, uh, S stands for something. <laughs> T is, good. is training and ranking. Uh, facility. Uh, this is the it. intern. Uh, what, what's, what's the S, guys? Star. Seduction. Seduction. <laughs> Seduction survival. <laughs> survival training? Survival is perfect. Survival. Something. It's super clever, guys. Trust me on this. 
But that's in the acronym. It's like intern S means something. <laughs> <laughs> intern something training and ranking. Yeah, yeah, just yeah something. Means yes. something. Yeah, it's just something. Yeah. So is Tarf is the name of the place? Uh, no, it's then it's okay. facility. And then facilities at the end. It's, it's not just Tarf. It's Tarf would just be silly. <laughs> yeah. Come on. No oh, one would no. sign up for it's Tarf. <laughs> This is the worst. So he, hold on, let's just, let's be very clear about what's happened. He has invented an evil intern grinding machine yeah. with whose sole purpose is to put us through the sorts of things we put interns through. Right. Yeah. I'm already an intern. Why do I have to go through it twice? Yeah. No, you're a master. Yeah. That's right. I'm a master now. We're masters. And we just to be clear, master. I'm yeah. not an intern. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, we get it. You're dritz. You vape. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 You're a vegan. <laughs> from the underdark. The voice comes through yes. again. Please note that you may be held liable to damage to ISTAR facilities or employees. Hmm. All right. Okay, so there's a turnstile. We go into that and then we... There's a little well, token. Before, before There's a little we, token slide. You go, tink, Let tink. me make an arcana check on this turnstile to see if it's magical. I got it. Is it going to teleport us somewhere? Or magical just, turnstile? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That'd be pretty cool. Oh. 13, Beast. yeah, plus 7. You sense some, uh, like, residual magic, but it's not... No, there's no okay. teleportation, whatever. Okay. Now, on the table, you, uh, you sense contracts. You've got that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have contract sense? Yeah. <laughs> sniff, sniff, sniff. And there's and the I, stack I immediately of... just like, right, like, like B, like. Oh. And you see there, it's, uh, it's a stack of liability waivers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. I knew that already. I'm saying like, what, what is on these? Yep, and you read through it and it says. Acid. Yeah, like, no, no, no. It's, it's, there's yeah. no specifics, but it makes it clear that. Um, if you're killed, maimed, injured, psychologically damaged, um, through... Impregnated. <laughs> <laughs> running through uh, the Ishtar uh, survival course, uh, then they are not, 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 not liable. Um, your application fee is not refundable under any circumstances. It's like, I hate it, but I love it. And you yeah. see, actually behind the, the waivers, there's actually a slot and, and it says, please insert application form and 100 gold piece Oh, shit. Fee. What? Son of a gun. He's raking it in. Master Viari is doing all right. Well, you at the company will cover this, right? Yeah, we're going to use the company card. So, but we, have, but we have to slide, we have to sign these up. This, this is where we can find him, right? And I, the only reason I want to find him is so that I can be mad at him. Well, no, we don't know that he's here. We just know that there's something fucked up in his establishment. I bet that he, but he's been gone he's for a trapped. while. I bet he's trapped in his own fucking shit. He's trapped so, in, a, in a prison of his own <clears throat> making. Yeah, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna say that when I find him. Uh, <laughs> so, so I, I sign the document, and then I also sign everyone else's signature perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> well, mine is just an X, so <laughs> that's easy. Wow. Um, and then I just feed those through, and I pop, I, I just reach in, just start pushing gold through the thing okay. with a frown that increases. <laughs> <laughs> it's directly proportional to the gold piece amount. And you Are know, you going to be okay? <laughs> there's a little Hopefully tink, there's some gold in here. There's little tokens, you know, fall into yeah. the, the little tink, thing. Tink, tink, little tink. four tokens um, that you can put into the turnstile if you want. Or you could keep, you could buy extras as mementos. The, I'd like the one. voice comes through the grill saying, please enjoy these tokens and consider buying some for your friends as well. <laughs> as a token. <laughs> as a token of, of our appreciation. Wow. <laughs> All right, so, chink, 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 chink. Racist. Um, no, 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 no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <clears throat> I would like to put 100 gold pieces in there, and I just pocket my... Uh, With a smile. My token. The token? Okay. Yeah, I think they're cool. Yeah. yeah. I pop them in there and I just I, I wait. I remember it's like, uh, I guess maybe it's cool. Maybe they have a maybe they got a ride in there. I don't. Let, okay. let, let's figure it out. Get the fast pass. I'm so you go, the fast pass. Pass. Get the fast pass. <laughs> you go through the turnstile, and the voice comes through again. It says, "Please keep in mind that your training process will be monitored for quality control purposes. We are not responsible for any lingering injuries or trauma." If you experience an erection lasting for more than four hours 
and it, it kind of, tr you, it's distant, it's still talking as you walk okay. down the hallway. Um, and you come to, uh, you come to a room and there's on the door is a plaque and it says, testing room one, catchphrase. I kick the door in. No, no, no. Okay, roll it. Oh. <laughs> No, 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 no. I, I step in front of Binwin and I say, <laughs> what ho? Okay, you say that. Nothing happens? No. All right, good. All right. Uh, 20. Yeah, it's like right off, right off the hinges, boom, onto the I ground. I scream catchphrase when I kick the door. Nice. Because yeah. it's my catch catchphrase. And you point at the sign. <laughs> <laughs> Just go, that. So it falls in, you yeah. look inside, and you see um, it looks pretty much like a tavern. You have... Wow. There's a bar, there's some tables, and uh, test. at first you think that there's actually some people in here, but then you realize it's just mannequins. It's just dummies scattered around. There's somebody, there's like an innkeeper dummy, there's uh, over by the, the hearth is a, a music, musician dummy. Uh, there's a couple people sitting at a table. Um, you know the westerns where you have like that high stairway, almost a mezzanine. Totally. Yeah. There's a mm -hmm. couple of people up there. I use sense beer. Um, <laughs> you do sense alcohol. Where? Uh, all behind the bar. Um, not it's. You realize that most of the bottles are for show, but there is some booze here. Okay. Um, yeah, there are training dummies. There's also a couple of dummies at the bar, uh, and there is a chandelier here. Are there As, any doors besides the door we came in? Uh, you, see, door? you see a door on the other side of the room, pretty much exactly like this door, like behind the bar. You, when you come in, you hear a voice coming through a grill in the wall, and it says, interning with Acquisitions Incorporated <laughs> is a rare and prestigious opportunity <laughs> that requires more than just the ability to fight, perform magic, or disarm traps. Acquisitions Incorporated interns must also be able to execute their duties with a certain degree of flair and style. <laughs> in, this room, in this room, you will demonstrate your ability to attack an enemy while using a catchphrase. You will be graded on originality and delivery. <laughs> All right. So there's just you know yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the static of the end of the record coming. So there's the a, a bartender dummy behind the bar. There's a bartender dummy. There's a couple people sitting at the bar. Musician. There's people sitting like looking. There's some cards on a table. There's a musician. Are they and animatronic? A, mm, they're just kind of sitting yeah. there. Okay. And and you look at them now and it's it's kind of crude. It's like not even wood. These are like uh, scarecrow. You know, like stuffed it's not the straw best. men. Okay. No. It's not the best. Uh, well, I'll just cast Magic Missile at the musician <laughs> over by the fire, uh, three of these bolts, and I shout, Jim's Magic Missile! <laughs> and it's, uh, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven damage, uh, and the smoke from the Magic Missiles spells out Jim before it fades away. Oh, wow, oh, okay. Nice. <clears throat> nice. So the bolt streak across and it's poof, poof, and it's just tsh, and the musician falls over and, and it goes, and you hear like a bell going off, it goes ding. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. <laughs> I, uh, I walk up to one of the mannequins and I say, over the teeth and through the gums, look out stomach, here comes a battle axe. <laughs> <laughs> and then I hit him in the stomach with a battle axe. <laughs> and, and, and who are you attacking here, which? Uh, well, whatever mannequin's behind the bar that's supposed okay, to be the bartender. Okay, the, the, in, the innkeeper one. Get, <coughs> it's a beer Okay, joke. so make, make basic roll. <laughs> you just gotta not booch this effectively. It's, it's, not, a, it's not about that. Okay, Nine yeah. Plus seven. You cleave it right in half, it falls over, and bing! <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm gonna go, <laughs> this is very weird. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go up. And just sort of like walk up the stairs, and there's a couple of people up on the stairs, and I'm gonna grab one of the people on the stairs, and I'm gonna say, I'm licensed to perform funerals. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and then I throw them off the top. <laughs> So he throws off and it kind of lands. It's, yeah. it's just there's just straw, so it's, it doesn't it's soft. really. It's soft. It just kind of goes. <laughs> <laughs> and there's it's just kind of quiet for a little bit, and then you hear like kind of a, a, a reluctant seeming. <laughs> ding, <like>, ding, <laughs> ding, 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 maybe. All right, what, what do we got here? I walk across the room and open the other door. <laughs> That's awesome. Pretty good, yeah. <laughs> um, I will need you to make a saving throw. Oh, shit. I don't approve this adventure. <laughs> Uh, uh, ooh, what oh. kind of saving throw? Uh, versus me. W what did you roll? A three. <laughs> you failed. Um, you take... Three, three is my lucky number. Thank you. I you... needed that. It wasn't me. You take I... uh, four points. It, it's, you put your hand on it, and it goes... Just a shock. Oh, okay. Four points of damage. All right. Some electricity. And the voice comes over and says, All participants... <laughs> must engage in required training activities to be considered for an internship position with Acquisitions Incorporated. This VR is the premier <laughs> adventuring organization. This is his sex voice. I know it's his sex voice. <laughs> it's creepy. Don't be weird, man. Just do something cool. Yeah, just like there's a chandelier here. They got the railing. You got this. Right. Uh, yeah, I will uh, take out Tom Morrow and I will shoot down the, the chandelier. <laughs> wow. Send it crashing down to the floor. Okay, make the roll. Oh, 17. Okay, you shoot it, it crashes down onto the table full, like the people playing cards. Yes, yes. and then I will roll my eyes and say, my cat's breath smells like cat food. <laughs> 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 he would suck at this. This is like the worst test for him ever. What do you need? No, I, oh, I don't want to steal your... I can do this over here. And I'll, mu I'll mutter it so they can't really hear. <laughs> and you hear... Ding! And then the voice comes over. It says, Congratulations, participants. Jim, Dark Magic, has received 15 points. Oh, shit. Oh. Well done. Points? Yeah. Probably out of 16, <laughs> would be my guess. Binwin, Bronze Bottom, has received five points. It was the comment about his book earlier. <laughs> <laughs> That's what did it. It's some meta. That's Omen, what got me. Drawn, has received zero points. Whoa. Yeah. No, it's fair. It's fair. I'm scandalized. Seems right. I think it's right. Drizzt do, drizzt do, drizzt, drizzt do, do, do. <laughs> non read, error, <laughs> uh, apostrophe, misplace. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and then you hear a click from, from the door. I'll try the knob again. Yeah. You take 20 damage. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, it opens up. There's a hallway. And uh, you come to another door, exactly the same, which you approve of. You realize that you bought in bulk yeah. these doors. Absolutely. <laughs> Huge and here, savings. And he's got spares. Yep. And the sign on the front of this one says, treasure room. Oh. I kick in the door. Roll it. <laughs> 18. Okay. You kick it open. This one's a classic. On the hinges. Hits the wall. I love those. Yep. As you go in, uh, this is a large open room. Vaulted ceilings. It's very mm -hmm. nice. Finished mm -hmm. stonework. Um, <laughs> he spent a lot of weekends here. Yeah. 
you hope he got two bids, is all the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. What color is the tile? Uh, it's sort of a lavender. Very oh, nice. Yeah. And the, well, it kind of mosaics along nice. yeah, oh. the, the baseboard. Um, <laughs> it says right here. <laughs> I don't I've doubt got it like 800 minute. pages of background yeah. that aren't actually in the adventure. Lore. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have anything else to do. So, so uh, now this is a big room. There are no windows here. Hmm. Um, there were a few like torches and lamps in the tavern room. Here, uh, there are not. Uh, so pretty much you open the door, you see a big vaulted room. For some of you, that's not an issue. You no see problem. in the dark. Um, but I can cast a little light. Okay. That's easy to do. So you have, uh, you cast light. It's on the tip of one of my wands. I got a little light. And you also can see in the dark? Yeah. This is one of those parties, right? He can too. Uh, yeah. I can super see in the dark. Yeah. I he didn't was, figure yeah. that was an issue. <laughs> he knows He knows about it. You people. You really adopted seeing in the dark. I was born in it. <laughs> <laughs> I am good. So you come in, and uh, as Jim's light, you know, because light, actual light reveals things that just dark vision does not, right? You're or the DM. Well, but like, what, what is policy? What's canon? I mean, dark there? vision is just basically you, you can see normally, but it's black and white. Yeah. Okay. It's like Signs of the Lambs at the end. Yeah. <laughs> so you come in, and it is, it's, a, it's a really big room. You see a large banquet table. You see um, in like the middle of the floor, it's not like this is a banquet hall. Yeah. It's actually a little off center. And as you come in, the voice starts talking. And it says, style isn't enough to pay the bills. <laughs> As an intern, you are partially responsible for the financial well-being of Acquisitions Incorporated. In this room, you will demonstrate your ability to quickly and efficiently gather treasure. You will be graded based on the value of materials acquired and ranked in comparison to the rest of your intern training group. And so as you <laughs> look around, you see there's almost like a little fake, it looks like a little magician's lab. Okay. You know, over there, with, there's a bookshelf and like a little potion table. Um, you see there's a chest that looks like you can see something shiny in the chest. There's a table with uh, like some coins on the top and big sacks, obviously full of coins on the table. Um, over against one wall, uh, you see there's a scepter and, and a crown that look to be mounted on the wall. Um, and the big banquet table that's like full of food and it's got candelabras and all of this. Uh, oh, and there is a chandelier here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Oh, and a shelf full of small statues and jewelry. Oh. The voice comes on again and it says, you have one minute to bring as much treasure as possible across the finish line and place it in the hopper. Also, your minute began at the beginning of <laughs> this pre-recorded message. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit. Roll initiative. <laughs> yeah. All right. Eight. <clears throat> That's a 10 for Jim. 10, 19. 19. 11. Eight. Okay. So I'm going to put these in order. That wealth. Uh, that was 19, mm -hmm. 11, 11, and 10. 10. And, and you four. were? Eight. 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 Okay. So I'm first. Um, to yep. simplify this, rather than get all movement speed and whatever, I'm, we're going to say, um, given that all the things are kind of clustered in the center of the room, yeah. um, you see at the end of the hall there is like a great big bin um, and, a, and surrounded by a dotted line circle. Um, and it will take you a full movement to get to any one of these areas. It will take you a full movement to get over, like across the dotted line. Yeah. Um, and there's no ticking clock. Actually, no, there is. Of course there's a ticking clock noise yeah. <laughs> that starts up, yeah. and you get to go first. Okay. I look at the table, and then I pick up Jim, and I 
Put what? him in the hopper. Well, <laughs> <laughs> because... Because he's a national treasure? Because friendship is the greatest. <laughs> Jim is crying as you do it. Uh, I love you so much. Uh, but the hopper is across the line at oh, the other I end of the huge hall. The no, I'm just kidding. Uh, like a javelin. Jim appreciates the sentiment. Okay. That's all what's important. Yeah. It was a gesture that counted. It was. I, but while I'm holding him, I do frisk him for anything that's <laughs> valuable. I've got the gem keistered. I mean, how hard do you frisk no, him? No, I'm not frisking the guy. <laughs> uh, I'm going to need a couple glasses of wine before that's coming out. I gotcha. So I could only get him as far as what? In you don't pick me up. Him? Oh, no, no, oh. no, you don't get to decide whether he picks you up. He gets to decide, and you get to decide, and dice are going to make this decision. But, and I, I will say, this is 60 feet away. Oh. Like, you would need a full movement to get to one of these areas, and then a full movement to get to the hopper. All right, well, I, I essentially waste a movement to make a nice gesture to you. I appreciate so it. So you know that you're my friend, Aww. Master Jim. Okay. Aww. I, I love you too, Master Billing. Thank you. And then I go to the table... So now that's my next movement, right? That'll be, because you get one movement, one action is yeah. pretty much. So you could, you go to the table with the coins on it, the chest with the bars of metal. I, I, sorry, you don't know that yet. It's a ticking clock. Do you guys hear it too or am I stroking? No, yeah. I, I think no, that's no. a ticking clock. <laughs> there's a real clock. So there's potions. A little, little magic workshop there's area. Bars. There's bars. There's chest. big, big there's chest. There's a big chest. Of... Statuettes on a shelf. Statuettes. There's a crown and a scepter. Yep. What do I do? It's totally a, oh. I didn't can hear you, any of that. Can you push the, like, the whole table and just dump uh, it in? I'll I, take I, a passive perception. Yeah. Passive perception roll from perception. you. Perception. Uh, no. no. My perception is terrible. Uh, it's a three, my perception. No, I, I go straight for the... Uh, I'll, t I'll take... Chandelier. Oh yeah, where's the chandelier? Uh, Chandelier's the over ceiling. the over the you banquet table. Throwing axe, I, and then just drag yeah, it over I'm to the throw hopper. An axe and try to knock the chandelier down. <laughs> okay, the roll. Okay, no chandelier is going to survive this adventure. <laughs> oh no, no, no. One. what the fuck? I am really sick, guys. My rolls have been yeah. Shit. You uh, not on a natural one. You throw the axe. It glances off the chandelier. And it heads and it, it ricochets down onto the little alchemy potion table <laughs> in the, the magic section. And there's the sound of glass breaking, sort of a hissing noise. Shit. It's a, Nobody's grabbing the alchemy shit. You're hoping? That's where I was going. Yeah. Not now. I couldn't have made there's that still a shot shelf in a million years. Okay. <laughs> and it's, the thing isn't totally wrecked, but yeah, there's, you, you fucked that up. Okay. <laughs> This totally negates my earlier gesture, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. All right. Is the floor relatively smooth? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Then I'm going to rush the table okay. and just push it, the whole thing, toward the bin. <laughs> this is like a serious, serious banquet table. Yeah. Like, long, like, like in the palace banquet table. How strong is Drizzt? I don't know. How would Bob Ross? Not, not his strong suit, no. <laughs> the strongest? Are you, are you not every number is just 18 all the way down? <laughs> <laughs> no. I will take actually a passive uh, perception from you. Once you get close, you'll take right. a full movement up. Conversely, if there's like a big tablecloth, I'll just sort of oh. grab one end of it, oh. run it, and okay. just sort of now, make, a, and make a pouch. That's and the right. flowers there's are like, still standing. There's like <laughs> a full bore on this table. Okay. You know, like, so you're not going to be able to wrap up the whole thing. It's probably 15 feet long total. Okay. I'll take as much as I can, though. Okay. I will take passive perception. All right. Uh, just a perception check. Uh, Got it. Yes. 16. You hit it, um, and you realize that, uh, worldly as you are, that the real prize is here. There's uh, serving platters and the candelabras. This is what is actually worth money. This is real right. silver, so that's what you want to grab. I will grab them and throw them like Frisbees into the bin. Okay. <laughs> um, so you, you pick them up, and you yep. start throwing. I will take... 
as, as soon as you start grabbing, you dump like food off of them. They're uh-huh. kind of greasy. I'll take a dexterity check to see how many you manage to successfully wing Curl out. in. All right. Stritch has a terrible dexterity. Plus two on this. All right, so that's going to be a 17. Okay, cool. You manage to wing out like four of them. One of the platters, you, you try it, but it's all greasy, yeah. you know, and you wing a couple out there. That's your turn. Uh, three. You manage to get three of those uh, candelabras out there. Mike. Uh, so Jim, as though you were doing that, Jim sort of closed his eyes and whispered to himself, uh, and a sort of ghostly servant appears next to him, hunched over. Hey. And, uh, and Jim, as a bonus action, can command his servant to go and do simple tasks like pick things up and carry nice. them. Nice. Uh, so he sends the servant over to the table with the sacks of uh, money mm-hmm. and says, I want you to take those sacks and put them in that fucking hopper down there. Okay. And then he goes to the alchemy lab. Okay. Tries, take... tries to find something. Yeah, new. my passive is, uh, perception is 11. Actually, this will be investigation. Investigation? Okay. Yeah. Uh, and you can do um, arcane. I'll do arcana, yeah. Arcana instead. Ooh. Oh, 19 plus 7, 26. <laughs> okay. Brutal. Uh, yes. To the glass. You go over there and you can't, you kind of like, oh, potion stuff. But even just like as you walk past the bookshelf, you're like, oh, shit, I've heard about this grimoire. Like, oh. it's got, it's kind of, there's some erotic nice. watercolors in it. <laughs> yeah. You've heard about it. It's you, on my list. Yeah, it would fill out your collection really okay. nice. But like this is, is posh. There's two books here. All the rest is like, you know, fanfic. But um, there's two that are. The two, like these, you haven't been able to find them in town. Um, those Do I books. think they're real? I mean, oh, yeah. I, did, I had a great check. So these are actually those books. These are actually those books, yeah. I wonder if I get them if I put them in the hopper. Fifty Shades of Greyhawk. <laughs> <laughs> that was baller. That was good. That was good. Uh, yeah, I, I, gra- I snatch those two books. Okay, so you grab those. I'm not going to throw them, though. Um, and then pretty much that's movement. Yeah, and you I grab, grab those books. And these are, they're hefty, so you got like an arm load. Now. Okay, got, and my, my unseen that. servant has got my sack. How much can the unseen servant carry? Uh, he can hold... One know. hat. No, it doesn't, does it say? It doesn't say, it just says he can perform simple tasks. Um, it will, <laughs> yeah, there we go. While we're figuring that out... Same yep. thing, Chris. Yep, yep. All right. So he is, he's grabbing platters and throwing them in and mm-hmm. doing this and that. And this table is close to the hopper, right? No. Like I said, it, between all of these things and the hopper is a full move, so at least like 30 <clears throat> feet. Okay. Um, I am going to use stone shape to create a ramp underneath this table. <laughs> <laughs> like this. Okay. And I'm going to use it to slide this table and all of its bore uh, as far over as I can. Okay. Um, you don't need to roll anything for that? It's no, no. It's, it's just, I just, I, just I know. shape stone. I just shape okay. stone, motherfucker. Yes. So <laughs> you're there winging it and the whole floor kind of comes up and you see the table slides a little bit, then stops, and everything on the table just starts to pour <laughs> on the floor. Um, some of the stuff like lands and rolls um, like into the, the circle of the dotted line, um, and uh, some it's like there's a lot of food there that you've made just a huge goddamn mess. <laughs> yeah, but, but I bet it's expensive food. Um, he already snatched so, up all the silver. Well, there's oh, some of it, but yeah. there's more candle no, than what yeah. yeah. so. I have an answer to your unseen servant yeah. question. So, your unseen servant has a strength of two. So, I went to carrying capacity to find out what a strength of two can do. Thank you. And when I looked it up in the index, it, under carrying capacity, it said C lifting and carrying. So, I went. <laughs> Who wrote and, this thing? And I looked at the C lifting and carrying, and it directed me to page 176. And there it tells me that your carrying capacity is your strength score multiplied by 15. Oh, wow. So, so 30 pounds. 30 pounds. Oh, 30 pounds. Of treasure. Of, pounds. Treasure. of okay. money. So it will, you know, th- that you see, it grabs now, a sack. Now, if he's pushing it. <laughs> no, 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 oh, we're going to stop here. On. <laughs> I, I told him to grab sacks yeah, of money. Right. Uh, so, you can do it twice that. Wow. Twice so, that. Yeah. Okay, so it's a big sack. You see Dragging it, or it's, pushing, whatever. It's picked up, and it starts zzz, yeah, yeah. towards, uh, but actually it goes there. It can only move there. It picks up. Next turn, it'll have okay. to make it the rest yeah, of the way. Yeah, yeah. Me, that's me. Yep. <laughs> so now the table is in total disarray. Uh, Mike is over, Jim is over there in the little 
the area, the table, you see sacks of money getting left. There's the chest, shelf full of figurines, um, and a scepter and a crown over uh, All right. by the wall. I'm behind now, so I'm going to go for the scepter and crown. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, make a passive perception. Well, what is your passive? It should just be listed. Yeah, it should there. just be a number if it's passive. It's minus one. <laughs> so nine. You are oblivious. Um, yeah. Well, yeah. It, effectively, you get a passive perception roll to see if you notice something you might oh, not. Oh, it's just a perception check. So right. go ahead yeah. and roll it. Finally. That's a good roll. I rolled 17. That's plump. Okay. That's a good roll. Just before uh, you realize that these, this scepter and this crown are not actually mounted on the wall, they're sort of hanging in midair, and, uh, and you're like, this, yeah, this smells like, there's, there's a, this smells weird. It's and a trap. And there's a big, there's a big sort of, you see a visual distortion, almost as if there was a huge cube and uh, it was a kind uh, of a, a viscous substance. Oh, no. Um, that shit's gelatinous. Oh. Yeah. Not so me. Yeah. Floating in a gelatinous cube? Yeah. I can't yeah. believe you made your fucking perception check. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that would have been the best. Just blorp. Just blorp. Well, <laughs> I reach into the scepter. <laughs> it's just jello. I'm going to give you a point of inspiration for that. For being very true to character. What does that mean? That, that means, means you can, can get a rollover. Yeah, I, basically, you can take advantage on a, okay. on a, a check or So am I making like a constitution check? Um, I think... No, you're consumed. <laughs> uh, and let me... Just this spits out your here. bones. Uh, you're devoured by glue. This is a beast. Like, this is a monster. I know. Uh, so are you just going to try to get your hand in there and pull something out? Yeah. Okay, I will take first the straight up, like, attack <laughs> roll. Okay. But, but you can't get, like, axe bonuses or whatever. No, 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 no. Okay. No. Oh, okay. So this is yeah. straight up attack roll. You got mm. two hands. You're reaching in with both hands. Ah. What does that nine end up being? Do I get, do I get to add this to it? It's yeah, your, your basic your bonus. Yeah. Right. And your uh, proficiency bonus. 16? 16. Good. Yeah, the first one, you, you get one hand in it, and you're like, ah, oh, shit, it burns. <laughs> um, I knew that would happen. And then yeah. you get the other one in there. But you, actually, you still put your second hand in. <laughs> That's the key. That's the key. Ah. <laughs> Maybe this one won't hurt. <laughs> so you get the hand in there. The other hand, you know, you actually get it around the scepter. That's what I want. Yep. And yeah. uh, you take That's why I'm here. some damage All right. from this. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, See, it doesn't matter if I make my perception check. I'm pretty dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you take uh, nine points of damage. Okay. And... Uh, it will also then attack you, because that was kind of your attack. Finally. Oh, yeah. And, ooh, that will be another uh, 14. Whoa. Um, okay. And, you know, you have to make a DC 12 dexterity saving throw. Yeah, you have no hands. <laughs> <laughs> you just pull out the stump. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's very anime, like the pseudopods come out, and then it slowly moves forward. Inspiration. Oh, uh, inspiration? Yeah. What a no. waste. <laughs> Perspiration. Jesus Coronavirus Christ. <laughs> what the fucking fuck? Wow. And it's all it, threes today. Yep. It slowly kind of comes together, and then you're inside Warp. the cube. <laughs> <laughs> um, but do I have the scepter? <laughs> oh, yeah, you totally still got it. You're holding it there. Totally. And I'll take a strength check. Okay. All right, 11 plus 7. Yep. yep. 18. Well, even though you're still embedded, you're like... <laughs> You wrote these rules. If I eat it, aren't I resistant to poison? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you are. So outside, it, it's no good. But if I eat it, if I drink it... You're, you'll be perfectly fine. 
<laughs> Just got to get it in my stomach. Yeah, yeah. that's all it takes. Okay. Your acid will beat its acid. I'll eat my way out of this thing. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, you also take uh, 10 points of damage from being engulfed. Jeez. By slime. Uh, round two. Round or actually, two. no, it's round now two. it's you. This is round yeah, two. Yeah, this is round ah, two. OK. Um, when the things are landing in the bin, are they just kind of, is it just like an ordinary bin? There's nothing It's like kind of a big, looks like a big chest with okay. no lid on it. And that's so. what we're, have to toss the things yeah, in. Yeah, you have to get, and okay. you know, you're getting some of them in, right. but some of them are just landing in the, the And we circle. don't know how many rounds we you have, You are right? not sure, because okay. it started talking and it's kind of stilted. You, you guess you have at least this round, at All least. Right. Well, I am the proud owner of four legendary magic items. I hop in the bin and stand there. <laughs> Some bullshit. Yeah, I would love to know what magical spell <laughs> what devours the these items and then measures their worth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then assuming I'm still alive, I will start shooting at the cube. Okay, so you take your movement and end up do you, I'm assuming you do a flip yes. or something. Yes. Uh, and you land in the box. Yes. And I have the elegance of a ballet dancer and the precision of lightning. <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. And I'll take an attack roll against the cube. All right. Uh, That's a 12. You rolled a two, but it becomes a 12. What? The plus 10 does that. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, guess it would. I guess it would do you that. You know, against a huge inanimate cube, you hit. <laughs> I'm so humbled. Uh, that will be 11 piercing damage. And Alrighty. I get a second shot. Yep. Which is... A because of who I am as a person. Exactly. <laughs> and that does 14 points of piercing, piercing okay. damage. Okay. Piercing damage. So these, these beams of radiant light, yeah. you know, it looks good. Right. Yeah, yeah, Mike. Everybody likes it. So you're it. there. You got the books, but you're, it, you're either you still got to get in them into yeah, the yeah. hopper if it's going to count. Uh, yeah, I'll walk over to the hopper and um, yeah, I'll go ahead and, and dump the couple books I got in. And so he's in it. He's and when when he's in he, it to win it. And you you attacked it. Did it look like it hurt Benwin at all? Like was he okay? He was okay. Okay. He's fine. He's fine. <laughs> He's being digested. And but he's also not if I can digest it first. Right. <laughs> That's the real race. <laughs> yeah, I've seen you in, in tighter spots before, so to speak. Um, <laughs> phrasing. 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 I am going to head over to the figurines. Okay. With, can I, so I use a walk, I walk over there, drum it, and Actually, then... you'll need to take a full movement over to the figurines okay. to, to check that out. Uh, yeah. Might as well. I you do. Might as well. I want to go check out the go, figurines. Go get the figurines. Okay. Get, get as many as you can. So You had a thumbs up and you got the scepter, I thought. But then his thumb dissolved. <laughs> so you go the over, bone was still sticking roll. up. Investigation. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, 15. Okay. Uh, all of this stuff is crap. Oh, really? It's like salt and pepper shakers? Yeah, it's like, uh, visit fabulous water deep, you know? Snow globes and yeah. shit? All right, that sucks. Spoons. I don't grab anything. Yeah. Uh, but that was your full that's movement. My, that's my turn, yeah. Oh, yeah, my servant finishes okay. going over, right? Okay, yep. And, and then it takes it over, and it drops it in. Chink! Yeah, and so as my bonus Delicious. action, I tell him, is there still gold left over there? Oh, yeah, there's still big I say, go back to the table and get more. Okay. And then it starts to go head back yeah. to the table. Absolutely. Um, I cast command. Okay. Um, What's that do? I'm going to cast it at fourth level. So I should be able to command uh, one plus a one per spell level. So that should be four people. Uh, and I, t I command them to bring me treasure. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, us? Yeah. Yeah, go, yeah. Uh, do you need to roll for that? <coughs> wow. I, I guess we need to roll saving throws. You guys need to roll saving throws. Yeah, I don't think I roll make shit. Your saving throws. <coughs> My spell save DC is, is a 15. I'm that... sorry, this is the command spell? Yeah. Look at this horse shit. Look at that horse shit. That, that is roll. horse shit. A one. 
What? <laughs> what, is it bad? What edition are you playing? What? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? It's a one word command? Yeah. I rolled a one, too. I say, give. <laughs> <laughs> What did you get? I rolled a one also. Two ones. Well, see, you guys have been, this is, there's a long-term condition. You're used program. to taking yeah. Yeah. commands. You are not part of the, the intern procedure where, you know, there's a Ludovico process where it's pretty much just a constant <laughs> stream of you giving things to Owen. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, you want to make your... Oh, uh, 16. Oh, okay, you're fine. You're like... <clears throat> so, and then for the rest of your turn? I gloat. <laughs> okay, the, uh, the gelatinous cube. Uh, it wouldn't affect the servant, I don't think, unless no. he commanded it to, but right. I had that same idea. <laughs> the gelatinous cube, uh, given that it, it has its turn now, it takes, it, it, it does damage to you. What happened? I don't know, something happened. Do you guys know something I don't? Uh, 8v6. Oh. <laughs> Can you see my dice? Oh, they, okay. there's a camera oh. back here. See, we can't. Oh. <laughs> because of the screen. So. You guys are freaking me the fuck out. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> is there a ghost in here? So that is going to be... 10, 21 points of damage. Oh, how are you looking, buddy? Hold on, addition is subtraction's tricky pal, so. <laughs> I'm down to 24 hit points from 78. Mm. That, now, should, it's that your... should be plenty of time to bring me that scepter. Now it's your turn. Now you can, can you attack from the inside? Uh, yeah. I say yes. Yeah, unless you're paralyzed or something. Or you, um, Get the opportunity. You can just try to bust out. I'm gonna try to bust out. Okay. Yeah. Make your strength check. Give me a dice that has rolled strength something. Strength check. Strength check. <laughs> Thank you. You make seven. it. Seven. Yeah. No, you make it. Yeah. Is that a one? Because if it's a no, one, it's a seven. It's a seven. It's a seven. <laughs> it's a seven. It's a seven. <laughs> You're ready to walk away from the table. I was gonna fucking <laughs> bail. <laughs> just into the crowd. <laughs> Oh, right. And you've got like a huge strength. Yeah, yeah. Plus a seven uh, oh, bonus. 14. Right, yeah. yeah, you're solid. Yeah, just get, come right over here. <laughs> so cool. you, you pretty much <laughs> out. And then do you effectively yeah. go over and give him well, the scepter? Been commanded. You have yeah. to go yeah. give him the scepter. Okay. So could, you, could you even hear him from in there? Oh, yeah. yeah, no, I couldn't hear him from inside. Well, it sound like, Whoa. Thank you. It's That's magical. A, it's a Thanks, spell. Chris. My With touche. With the critical miss you made on your save, you were actually looking in his direction. You saw him. <laughs> you could read his lips. All right. Yeah. So I grab that scepter. Yeah. And then just right over the shoulder, just. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the gelatinous cube. Oh, so now do you have like magical? What's what are you wearing here? Like that would be inside this hopper. My magical fruit of the loom underwear. <laughs> <laughs> now. Uh, like, I'm wondering, around like, the waist? super boots or something. Oh, uh, super boots. Yeah, yeah. So like I got, Iron Man shit? I got, well, ma I got magical armor. <laughs> okay. I got my two swords okay. on my waist. Right. And then I've got the longbow in my hand, the quiver on my back, <laughs> and uh, a, a pendant. Okay, so a this holy, is... A holy symbol. This is above. Yeah. Uh, your, your bow is in your hand. You, you hop in, and it's a weird sensation. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a hot and, tub. Yeah. You it's know, like a, no, it's like a, it's like a, it's a mystical frisky. It's, it's more like you've just been, you've been hit by like a really amazing pickpocket where you didn't feel him do okay. it, but some of your shit is gone. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. <laughs> you've been, you've been <laughs> um, I will collect. I will collect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, you, know, you can take okay. your action. Two shots at the cube. Uh, they're both going to hit the slow, stupid cube. Uh, one does nine points, and one does ten points. Okay. These silver streaks just Delicious. play through it. Delicious. Uh, now you? Uh, I snatch up some of these salt and pepper shakers, a couple snow globes, and I walk over to Omen. <laughs> dump it all out. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so pretty much you just yeah, yeah, I just take everything. Your other I arm, can. And, huh, you head over. Uh, it's a little porcelain beholder. I got that yeah. for you. Yeah. <laughs> but one of the eyes is, is it's like weird. Precious moments beholder. And <laughs> yeah. Oh, the sweet, sad yeah. little beholder. Oh, sad we puppy. Draw that. Yeah. 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 Yep, yep. Um, so he just dumps them all out. I just kick a bunch of that shit into the thing. Okay. Um, just throwing and it then in. The, um, the tablecloth from the, the, that slipped out and spilled mm -hmm. over, I'm just going to try to grab the edge of it and just haul it. Okay. Haul, is, haul the haul you're the You're strong enough to you grab it there. and you're kind of just, just whatever. Fuck yeah, into yeah, yeah. The hopper. Get in there, fucker. So, <laughs> um, then you hear, bing, time up. God, how's this going to go? All goods inside the dotted line, or actually it says all participants, please <laughs> proceed to the center. And you guys are already in there. Uh, you're already in there. You actually, yeah, you're all right in there already. Yeah. How did and you it, catch a gelatinous guy? I just realized that. <laughs> <laughs> there's, okay, there's, okay. there's shit oh, we do not know. Catch one to have yeah, then keep it in there. You charmed um, it. Yeah. Hey, babe. <laughs> <laughs> so, <talked> <laughs> uh, it says, please finalize the placement of your items into the hopper. And you realize the scimitars are gone. Oh, okay. Oh. And pretty much as you're tossing this stuff in, yeah. it's just... <laughs> so when you tell Bob that he doesn't have the same... <laughs> <laughs> They're gone. Not saying a word. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'll never see this. Yeah. So... So you guys you just spool the rest of that shit. Okay, well, uh, it... The, the dotted line flares up yeah. and cuts the tablecloth in half, nice. so you get the last of it Hopefully in Hopefully my unseen servant got a second trip back. Um, we'll allow it. Okay. That's so nice. you come back. Yep. So what happens is um, there is a little place in the wall, and it says, Jim, dark magic. And a, you hear like a tinny little rattle, and a metal shows up in the little hopper. Hmm. A metal or a, a metal. metal? A metal, okay. as okay. one would wear. Those words are really close. Yeah, they are. <laughs> Maybe too close. <laughs> Sometimes one. metals are metal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and see, you, and that's you what pull they pull it out, it. and it's a little steel medallion, and it says "Treasure Room, Steel Award." Steel. It yep. doesn't seem great. <laughs> I, um, I pin it on anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as far as you know, that's the best. Yeah, that's that's Owen, S rank. Drawn. And you hear ting, 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 you pull it out, and it's a silver. <coughs> Are you calling better. him Owen or Omen? Yeah. Omen. Owen Drawn. And then Drizzt, <laughs> misplace. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes ting, and you get a gold medallion. Oh. Damn. Great. I'm getting a poop medallion. <laughs> um, <coughs> oh. And it says, no treasure received from... Binwin, bronze bottom. That's not true. I offered it friendship at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> All participants must place treasure in the oh. hopper to <laughs> proceed to the next. What do I do? Is there any treasure left? No, he's put it all in. I give you my medal. I put his medal in the hopper. Okay. <clears throat> it goes. Nice. It goes in, and then it clatters out, and it comes out, and it says, participant. <laughs> yeah. Story of my life. <laughs> Door opens and uh, leads out into the hallway. Uh, you come up to the next door. I kick it in. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say? What does it say? Hold on. Oh, sorry. Uh, it says... The AOFL <laughs> Memorial <laughs> oh. Acid Pit Training and Testing Room. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. I do not, I do not kick that door in. <laughs> I add locks to the door. <laughs> you craft locks. Yeah. I just yeah. try to open it. Does it just yeah, it opens right okay. up. No. Um, 
And no, you see there, there's a little tr thing standing there. It says still, you know, under construction, you know, hard hat area. Oh, so it's a dangerous acid pit. <laughs> there's, you know, you see like there's some stones that have been pulled up, but obviously this room isn't finished. Oh. Um, you know, there's, you can smell, there's a big barrel of acid, but it's not in a pit. You see a door right across the way. Oh, great. I mean, it's oh, not even finished. Yeah. Not even yeah. finished. But Aofell is. Oh. <laughs> too soon. Is that too soon? That's <laughs> years. That shit, that shit is uh, ice cold. I mean, <clears throat> here, I would just start, start throwing some doves around here and see if, it, see if anything happens in the room. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can do that. I just release six or seven doves. <laughs> and you hear, ding. What? I think this room is fucked up. <laughs> I think there's something fucked up about this room. Your timed performance in the AOFL Memorial <laughs> Acid Pit Training Room. Your timed performance is timed. <laughs> Proceed to the next area or the acid bees will be provided as a motivational <laughs> acid bees? Alright, acid bees. Here we go. Next room. Yeah, we just hustle to the next okay. door, right? Wander right through. We're, we're, yeah. we're, we're, we're looking for a bee free experience. Yeah. yeah. I will take a uh, I'm allergic to acid a perception roll from everyone. There you go. 16, see? Finally. 20. Hey. 15. Oh. Oh, oh, no. Everything's fine. Yeah, 20. Hey. So, walking along, Binwin stops and he's like, it's like, this stone was quarried like at least 50 feet away from the other stone in this wall. And you're like, oh, shit, yeah. Yeah. This is totally secret door right here. I'm good at that. Yeah. <laughs> Do I know how to open the secret door? Oh, you know. It's All the way right. you open doors. <laughs> oh, you just stick it in? Yeah. yeah. You know how. You've been training for this your whole life. Uh, By the way, you don't look too good. <laughs> you, it's like the ooze. Yeah. Is like, Nobody Ooh. healed him. Yeah, oh, you're you give me a heal as I kick this yeah. secret door in? Yes, I love to heal. So I say secret catchphrase and I kick the door in. Okay. Nine plus seven. Kick it. You hit right the block that you need to push, you kick it, and it shh, grit, and it opens up, there's a door, and it says, uh, Owlbear Recreation Training and Milking Facility. Nope. Milking? Oh, <laughs> uh, owl, owl bear milk must taste. Good. Pretty good. 18. Yeah. 18. When you oh. get it fresh, right okay, from okay, the not, owlbear? Not pasteurized. No. Right from the owlbear teat? Yeah. The spigot. But this is off to the side. The yeah. main hallway goes down. I mean, do we? Are we gonna investigate we that gonna milk owl bear? Or? Are we gonna milk? Do we, should we milk some fucking owl bears? All right. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Well, I, mean, I, I did it when I was little, but I mean, I haven't. I don't know where the technology's at now. Or uh, still done by hand. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Naturally. You uh, you open the door, and you see there's like a couple of bales of straw. They're kind of. Uh, there's a big nest made out of straw. Nice. There's, uh, it smells musky in here. Good. Sure. It's a good smell. You know, kind of, you, you recognize it uh, from the time, you know, we, when Chippy comes to visit. That's right. right. And, those oils, uh, those rich oils. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can extract those. Yeah. Uh, oh, I know. A lot of money. It's fatal, but yeah. <laughs> worth it. And you see there is... In one corner of the room, there's some sort of twisted metal apparatus, and there's just <laughs> blood splattered all over the wall there. Um, so and they're hard to milk, is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's... They don't like it. There's some bones over there, too. And, uh, yeah, a nest, and you see, like, a squeaky toy <laughs> um, that uh, you imagine if you were an owlbear, you would like that. Uh, <laughs> You'd be into it. Yeah. But we don't see an there's owl no, bear. There's no owlbear oh. here. No owlbear here laden no. with milk? <laughs> heavy with milk? Just heavy no. with milk? No. No. Hmm. Cool. All right. That's a bummer. Heel turn. Uh, I'm going to grab the squeaky toy. Okay. Just in case we need it later. That's smart. Okay. okay. Good idea. I mean, you do have the, the owlbear figurine that has been you know, in the group Ooh. for a while. Well, that's some... Thanks there, yeah, DM. Yeah, but there's an old dwarven phrase that says you never fight owlbear with owlbear. 
What do owlbears no, sound like? Oh, are we saying that we? This is our owlbear oh. recreation facility. No, no, we could let Chippy he's play we let here. Chippy, he's saying we let Chippy out. Oh, yeah. Who's got Chippy though? Chippy's mine. Yeah. Let Chippy out. I don't just let Chippy out to fuck around. <laughs> it's like I take a Pokemon. Yeah, Chippy comes out to fight. I keep him mad and angry <laughs> and hungry. I'll fight him. <laughs> no, Chippy, I, I turn Chippy on people. Yeah, I'll fight him. I don't want you to fight my owlbear. <laughs> I'll kill your fucking owlbear. That's, I know. <laughs> Listen, if he, if he does enough damage to the owlbear, Chippy goes back into the thing. And honestly, if what you want is an angry-ass owlbear, what, what, what could make him angry? All right. Uh, I, I pull out <coughs> Chippy. And I say, don't get used to this. <laughs> and I, I toss him out in the middle of the floor. Okay. He comes out. You... Yeah. Whatever noise. And he comes out and he's like, <laughs> and he kind of, he looks around. It's different than he's used to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he goes, you know, and he, he squeaks the toy a little bit. Yeah. yeah. And he nestles into the, the hay. Mm -hmm. You know. I milk Chippy. There's blood all over the apparatus. Well, from the other owlbear, I, Chippy and I know each other. I think that <laughs> over the years, I, he trusts me to get close and milk him. But it's, he's a, he's a, a man bear, owlbear. He's a yeah, but the male owlbears are the ones that produce the milk. It's uh, not milk. <laughs> oh, that's not milk? No. That, was, that wasn't milk. <laughs> oh, that's why we've gotten so close. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's why he likes me so much. Yeah, why do, you, why do you think he keeps coming back from the alternate plane? We're learning things today. Yeah, we are. I, I've milked them before. Yeah, Chippy looks at you and kind of raises his owlbear eyebrows. Yeah. He's kind of nestling into the hay. He's like settling back. Yeah. On that haunch. Yeah, and he's like, squeak, squeak. <laughs> he knows what's next. Yeah. <laughs> and <Ooh>. sing. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I'm not gonna do that in front of you guys. All right. Okay, here, that's fine. That's special time with me and Chippy. You hear from the hallway. <laughs> Ghost sharks will be released. <laughs> the Ghost fuck? sharks? I, I heel turn see, and hustle back to no, the other door. I want to see ghost sharks. <laughs> It's Ghost Shark Week on Discovery. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to go to the other the other hallway. Yeah, back out in the hallway. I want to and, avoid the Ghost Shark. What does the next door say? You head to uh, the end of the hallway, and and Diari's in there. No, no, no. Oh, with my uh, swords. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, as I go by, I look in that hopper. Are the books and stuff that I put in there? They're just gone. Oh, everything is gone yeah, out of the okay. hopper. That's Bummers. Yeah. Um, it's Bumsville. That's Bumsville. I'm totally organized here, guys. Trust no, no. Me. It's, uh, it's, so it's, you this come explains to the, a lot. You come to the end, and there's a door, and it says, uh, welcome, you know, the, the, the sign says, contract negotiation and final testing process. Oh. <laughs> mm. Gentlemen. Allow me. <laughs> and I, I kick in the door. <laughs> this set is actually missing a page. Can somebody grab the backup? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Bro, bro. This, is the, this is the last. This is what I do. Do it live. This is what I'm good at. <laughs> this is what I'm good at. Fuck I'll it, we'll do it live. The beginning of the adventure, and then you got to wait a while. I'll get so you the next I, piece. So can I, in the meantime... <laughs> I mean, is is Bob aware? Does he know that? Does he have to give permission for you to take Drizzt? Oh, what's that? No, here it is. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, no, never mind. It's cool. Okay. It's cool. We're back. We're this fine. This is a large room. Put a th this is this is a that. lot of really yeah, yeah, yeah. really intense description. I couldn't remember it off the top of my head. This is a large room. <laughs> You're trying to kill Jeff. It contains a coffee machine, several bean bags, <laughs> and there's a poster on the wall. It's one of your posters, one of the, oh. the ones you send to the members of your fan yeah. club. Jim it's Wing. like, Jim, dark magic, yeah. you know, and there's doves. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and it's been slashed up with a knife. What? what? Oh. Oh, shit. And there's a big desk with a swivel chair and the nameplate on it. 
It's Jeff. Oh shit, it's Jeff. It's Jeff. And you, you get this coming in, it says, negotiating the fine points of your contract uh, is an oft overlooked part of intern training. Uh -oh. But here at ISTAR, we want you to be as prepared as possible. Please take this opportunity to enter into a trial negotiation with our state of the art negotiator, Simulacrum. Good luck and remember your training. And Oh, and there's a chandelier here. <laughs> <laughs> of course there is. <laughs> the, and you see the nameplate on the front. It originally said, you know, Jeff, and now that's been crossed off, and now it says, Jeff, no magic. <laughs> <laughs> and the chair yeah. swivels around, and you see this sort of monstrous, large, <laughs> bone... Misshapen. Misshapen, oh. uh, Gollum-esque hulking creature that is, it's a little familiar too. You're yeah. looking way better, Jeff. <laughs> um, there is, it, it swivels around and it says, welcome to you. It sits up, the table gets knocked over. This thing is huge. Okay. Uh, it is composed of a lot of bones. Um, it's a Draco Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> and it roars and attacks splintering uh, the desk underneath its feet. <laughs> wow, okay. Initiative. Yep. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ho. Uh, three. 18. 19. 24. Hey, uh, lead it off. <clears throat> All right. I'm Jake Sky, I always have the highest number. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any swords lying around? Oddly enough, <laughs> there are not. All right. <coughs> I uh, hand you one of my axes and say, I would be honored. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> <laughs> you know from your extensive adventuring experience that only a magical weapon is really going to, if you had a magical weapon, that would be super oh, useful. You don't right say. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Super useful. I still like and respect you. <laughs> Oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> on me. Uh, all right, he's then. He's not angry. He's just disappointed. <laughs> I will run up his big hulking body and pull off his head. I will take an acrobatics check. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that I should be able to do. 20. <laughs> okay. With a straight up 20, I will let you now make an attack roll. You're going to try to pull off its head. Yeah, it's like it's probably just held on by like rotting tendons Twine, and you like know, yeah. whatever, some gum, stitches. Gum. Yeah. Just rip the whole damn thing off. I will take an attack roll from you. All right. If you fucking twenty this again. Nope. Nope. It's lower. Uh, so that will be. Is it, I guess this is a strength attack, right? Uh, so yeah. Hmm. Well, that'll What's the be number? a twelve total. I'm going to use Guided Strike <laughs> to add 10 to that roll. Because that should happen, right? Yes. Yes, okay. yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Yank, yank. <clears throat> so you do, you go, you kip off, you run up, you grab a rib, you, you flip up, yeah. you get one foot on his shoulder, you reach down, and you grab and you pull his jaw right off. And it goes... <laughs> um, and the, the lights in its eyes flare up you. Is this for real Jeff? It's for real Jeff. I'm killing him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's an abomination that once was made all out of, my shit's made out of Jeff parts. Loyal I'm going rage, I'm going reckless attack. Wow. <laughs> Which means all my attacks have advantage, but attacks against me also have advantage, but I don't care. Yeah. Get him. Making sure there's a 20 on that die? Yeah. <laughs> Here. No, this just feels my, like my Lapis Louisi dice. Lapis Louisiana. Someone stole that dice from me. I'm going to get super pissed. Well, thank God for advantage. Yeah. Uh, and I crit on 19. Hee-haw. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Have double damage? And you get no, it's a full and an extra. Yeah, so roll mm. it up, roll the damage. Well, I don't have to roll it's it. Full I damage. You just automatically. So it's eight plus four plus two. 
And after you max out, you can roll the you can roll the weapon die again and, yep. and add that on top of it. Another D8. On Fuck top of yeah. It. Yeah. Fuck yeah, I can. Do it. It's happening. Eight. D8. Oh! About as good as it gets. God damn. Now, that was my first attack. Okay. Now I will say, <laughs> is this a magical axe? Sure. <laughs> I will say, given the crit. I mean, it is really not a magical act. No, no. Okay. But that given was, the crit, you go what up. What just happened was magic. Yeah. <laughs> you go up, and it goes right through its leg bone. Nice. Um, it breaks it, and it goes straight down onto, like, the stump of the leg, and it roars. So you will still do damage, even though that wasn't a magical weapon. Thank you. Um, uh, well, you crit. You know, that's, yeah. that's fair. And his name is Jeff No Magic. He should be susceptible to no magic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My that's weakness is no magic. <laughs> uh, that's his I, catchphrase. Should I bother hitting him for the rest? Uh, you, you might crit again. You could yeah. crit again, yeah. Absolutely. Okay, well, I get advantage, yep, so. Yep, do it. On an 18? No. No, no just okay, roll it again. 20. My third one. Oh, I thought that so, was a right, one. Close. No. Nope. Okay. Um... Uh, I'm gonna fireball this thing. Yeah. Yeah, so here it comes. Uh, I don't know, what color is it, guys? Green <laughs> That shirt's a little oh, in my mouth. 13? You roll to attack. Oh, yeah. Uh, do you roll to attack on the fireball? No, on it's a it's fire Firebolt, I thought. I oh, thought so I you had just to say a firebolt or firebolt? I'm sorry, firebolt. Okay. okay. Oh. I do have to make an attack roll with okay. firebolt. Yeah. You're not holding back the fireball, though, though right? Like, now would be a great time for a fireball. Well, can I bolt and ball? <laughs> you are, that would be, that'd be both You'll baller and You'll have to talk to you and your well, I'm, I'm bolting that. right now. Okay, you bolt it. I bolted. You, you hit. I hit, okay. Um, again, huge hulking yeah. uh, monstrosity. Uh, nine plus four, 13. Okay. And anything that he is wearing that is flammable catches on fire. Ooh. Like a little hat, maybe. He's, he's wearing drizzed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I'll take 1d10 of damage oh. just to see how much that does. Seven? To seven to drizzed. Okay. Get now, used to if, it. If you're going to run with us, if you I catch had, on fire. If I had baptism. icing death, I would be resistant to fire. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but you don't. Man, but that I would don't. be so convenient. So I take all of that. You, you do take it. Welcome to the club. Um, yeah. Now, I'm as soon as this magical fire. bolt... Uh, hits Jeff, Jeff No Magic. The artist formerly known as, oh, that's too soon. His. It is too soon. It is too soon. It hits him, and you see he, he starts to glow a little bit, and the glow moves from the part of the body where he was hit with this fire, and it spreads out to his limbs, and it concentrates around his hands. His hands are glowing and flaming, and he goes, and he goes, have a mother, have a magical day, motherfucker! <laughs> and he goes, yes. and he goes, gage, gage. Wow, that was. How'd we do that? Wow. Holy oh, smokes. It's a superpower I didn't know I had. That was our whole special he, effects budget. Is he hitting me? Yeah. Oh. Hope he, he can beat you. a 12. <laughs> Oh, see, uh, they they know shit. things. Oh, see, they can see my dice. I, I, was, I was maybe going to be cool about that, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I was maybe going to maybe try to be a gracious and gentle GM, but, uh, but no, he hits, he hits you twice. Okay. God, they're, this is a vicious fucking yeah. crowd. <laughs> <laughs> so he does how much does he do like a ton of because i've got a lot i need i say we two. let him go <laughs> <laughs> uh, he does extra uh, he does 18 damage versus gyms and another 12 damage hmm. oh. Uh -huh. That's 30 total? It's 30 total. I have four left. Um, <laughs> and that was like crushing spiny bone and fire damage. Yeah, I think, I think when he lifts his fist up, he just has to peel Jim <laughs> off. <laughs> no, he's like, like, a, like a fruit roll-up. Yeah. Like it's just... 
Uh, yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a fighter. Not a warrior. <laughs> no. You should get Omen. the fuck out. Hey there. Now that said, there's, you know, he is on fire. His jaw is off. There's sort of arcane energy spewing out of his jaw now. Nice. Um, and you know, you really kind of dinged up He's this dead. underside of his arm. Oh, good. Yeah. Body. Yeah. Uh, it's all my pointy bits. Down on one knee. He's I cast magic weapon on Binwin Bronze Bottom. Does nice. that heal me? Hey. It does not heal you, no. Um, so your magic, your weapon is now magical. Yeah. Plus one. Great. Um, and you'll actually be able to do something with it. Um, I am going to hit him, I'm going to use my bonus action to hit him with my maul. Even though it's not magical, um, I deal 1d8 radiant damage once per turn. So uh, okay. I'll, I'll be able to get something in there if I hit him. Hit him. Oh yeah. 19. You hit. Okay. Uh, let's just grab a d8. Eight. Nice. Okay. And now Benman can do his dark work. Yeah, yeah. And you can Drizzle. heal me, right? Yes. I know All how. All right. <laughs> if I had Guinevar, my magic <laughs> panther, I would summon her right now, but I don't. Yeah. So. So you lost his panther, both, both of his swords. swords. Yeah. The day is young. The next book's going to be pretty boring. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, have I done any damage? Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> so, uh, chandelier, magic. chandelier magic. Where is the chandelier? It's, it's actually, like, right above you. All right. It's chandeliromancy. Yeah. Okay. There is, and there is a rope, you see, over there leading up to the chandelier. Okay. Just run up I'm that. Gonna, I'm going to do that. I'm gonna run up to the chandelier. Okay, well you are still standing on top of the golem. Right. Uh, would you like to jump uh, to the chandelier? Or yeah, I'll basically, the rope? I'll basically spring off the golem onto the chandelier or the rope. Okay. And then shimmy up to the top. Okay, so you're trying to get up on top of the chandelier? That's right. Okay, so you, you get up, I'll take a basic acrobatics. Yes. It'll be easy for you. Yes, and then I burn the rope away with my laser eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you could probably use he an arrow. He probably yeah. has laser yeah. eyes. I'd... I'll take an arrow and just. You, you cut the rope? Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> While you're on it. Absolutely. Ah. Yeah. Oh, okay. My right extra weight will, you know. Right. Yeah, that's nice. All so, 35 pounds of me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you uh, inspiration for like going up just to write it down. Okay. That's, that's stylish. And then you reach up and you cut the rope. And the chandelier just stays there. Because <laughs> they float, right? <laughs> and you hear Jeff cackle maniacally, <laughs> saying, I know your ways. <laughs> God damn it, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody, right, it's written in. Yeah. <laughs> I did not bullshit that out. I wrote it in yeah. for the final room. It's a faux chandelier. Nice. <laughs> That's, ladies and gentlemen, Patrick Ross. Ross. <laughs> All right, I'm going to end this. End Bring this. It. Right. Bring it. Here we go. He's yeah. looking rough. I can't survive Super another rough. round of that. Ooh. What do you got? 18 plus 7. That hits. Actually, yeah. So Chop. Damage it. And it's a magic weapon now. Yeah, yep. Don't forget your so plus 1. 8, 9, 10, 11. Damn. Kay. Second attack. Nice. That'll do it. That hits. And this is a nice. Ooh. 9, 10, okay. 11, 12. Okay, and you get a third. I do? Yep, yeah. you always do. Sure. That's, That's a D8. Dice. Don't, yeah, don't attack with that. That's too low. 20! Oh! That's it! Oh! Three Put that hits, fucker dude. down. <laughs> right. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So it is pretty much, you've got the axes, you get one in him, and you pull yourself up. You have the other one in him, <laughs> you pull yourself up. And as Driz kips off, leaps up there, and you hear him go, ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> and there's nothing, and you're like... <laughs> you're like... <laughs> and right in the skull, yeah. cracks, the Damn. whole thing crumbles to the ground. You're fired. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And you hear, and you say, you're fired. And you hear, ding! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> as, and now we've got to wrap this up. I know we've gone yeah. over time. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure they're really mad. The, <laughs> uh, you end up, you know, kind of in the aftermath. You get healed up a little bit. And you hear, like, a click come from the wall. And a panel swings open. And there's Viari. Yeah. 
And he's like, and you see him, he's like, oh, <laughs> awkward. Yeah, it's you weird. You guys, hey, you guys, how this was mm -hmm. going to be your birthday surprise. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, awesome. What a I, hear great, that. I didn't get him anything. I hear that a lot, actually. Um, I drop behind him and snap his neck. <laughs> <laughs> and then camera close. <laughs> the end. <laughs> the end. Patrick Rothman. Yes. <laughs> thank you all so much. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Patrick. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and that's right, you've got your I have an announcement, announcement to make. All right, we've got a couple announcements. Don't leave yet, because we've got a bit of show and tell, too. Yeah. So, the adventures that you saw performed today are now available for download for free on the DMs Guild. That's, that is DMs, DMS Guild, all one word, dot com. Check out the adventures there. They're awesome. I, I, have, I have something, too. Do you? That's, yeah. yeah that's what do cool. you have? I brought nothing. <laughs> Acquisition. <laughs> Acquisition. Bin win. Making an incision with precision. Choice cuts such that quality abuts filet minion. <laughs> Axe grip, tight as a pinion. And for women, dwarven stamina plus a low center of gravita is a win-win. <laughs> Jim from New Hamp gets him too damp. <laughs> he ends friends. He turns pals into pyres with his unfriendly fire. Heater than a fever, hemorrhagic, hark, it's tragic. <laughs> but that's what you're getting when he's spitting that dark, dark magic. <laughs> Viari, a player, like Atari, shows that O face, that Van Gogh face, like when a knight gets starry. <laughs> if that's your girl, I'm sorry. <laughs> And if that's your man, well, he don't give a damn. He came to party. <laughs> Ominifus drawn, he of the limitless con. <laughs> Ill syllabus, sicker than the liquor I'm on. <laughs> I'm the ribald, fly scald with a vanity plate that says try bald. <laughs> I give foes a trip to the mall. <laughs> I flatten them. I turn gold into platinum. I'm reverent as a Latin hymn. <laughs> With holy fire, I blacken them crisp. Nothing left but a wisp and a thick grease. I give the slip to a lord of the crypt like Lich, please. I could regale with the tale of another great mission, but it's late, and we must vacate this acquisition. Good night. <laughs>